are you waiting on two? Uh, two of them are coming. It's Chris and uh, Trouble. Oh, Chris. Right. So there, there. And then seat six is going to be Aaron. He's just run a little bit late, but we're starting with eight seats here. Aaron. Aaron Yen, he's the younger kid that's been playing with. You want all of them? Here. So we will get started once. Daniel's on a hot seat. I'm okay. Yeah. I'll be back. No, no, no. Derek said, uh, there. I'm no. sure he's going to be okay. The bomb pods, do y'all want to do them every orbit or do y'all want to do them every orbit? Every orbit? Okay. Every so we'll start off with one and then we'll come back around with it. Every dealer. Dealer changes two hours. Yeah, they only change dealers every two hours. We only change dealers every two hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every orbit. So that's why we usually do, so we typically always do like every orbit, or we do every 30 minutes or every hour. Orbit. Every seat nine? I'll skip some. How about that? Yeah, I mean, you're not obligated. Yeah, you're, it's Bob Bob, so you're not obligated. No, he's obligated. Every hour. Yeah, we've been know that they're watching. They're watching. Boom. Uh, everything else will be standard, guys. One, two, five, bring in. Botlam in Omaha, four cards. Bomb Pots will be in double board. Uh, we are not doing a bad beat in Omaha, but we do have quads in hand. It's still going to be $400. So if you, get, if you get dealt quads in your hand, it's worth $400. Just, yeah, play them as long as you want to, but we're done. Just say fold and hold. I have quads. I got quads that I need to verify. Just be like fold and hold. Shift them off. To this. I'll keep them off to the side into the hand. I'll verify it. No, sorry. You have a dozen? You get away with it on certain boards. Trouble's over here. Aaron's on his way. You got quad ace. That's fine. We're going to do bomb pots every orbit. Let's we'll see. Them. We're starting off with a bomb pot. One, two, five. She's waiting on you. Alright, let's go. Two minutes behind. Are we ready, sir? Oh, he must Aaron. be. He was there last time. Oh, how the fuck did he get the same team? Happy Monday, hey, everyone. Good luck, everybody. Are we ready? Sir? Here's Texas Card House for some TCHY. We're playing some one, two, hot women Omaha this evening. I'm William Lattie from New York, Nick Nathan is alongside me. Uh, Dante at Dante Poker. And I'm really trying to build an Instagram. Yeah, I can. Got it. about the Instagram. Yeah, I can. Well, this is exciting. Uh, PLO. Have a little four card fun tonight. Yeah, you talk about you think Hold'em's crazy in Texas. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are no ranges in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's Abe. Uh, I'm with you entirely. The crazy Texas poker, that's great. And uh, even better if you come on down here and play sometimes. That guy, uh, I played a bunch of cash over the weekend and uh, saw some wild stuff. Yeah. You that with white where you walk through cracking aces. Not me, thankfully. <laughs> that's happened way too many times. Uh, as usual, we're going to start off with a, with a bomb pot, $10 bomb pot. Everybody gets to see a slot. It's the double board variety. So um, this ought to be really entertaining, as it always is in bomb pots uh, for some people. For others, it's not so much. And we see a lot of familiar faces on the felt here. We do have a list going, so he does have a sip with one seat open, but I think we're gonna I think that player's coming. Yeah, somebody running a little bit late. Boston traffic sometimes can be a bit of a pain. And it's really hot outside. Good luck, everybody. Actually, it's 90 degrees. It's April and it's 90 degrees. Gotta love Texas. Cards on their way out now. I'll switch you every day getting four cards. Those who have the PLO, you're going to play exactly two of those cards to show now. All right, sir. Four aces in your hand, not quads. Four aces on the board, also not quads. King Jack, nine, some spades, and six, four, four, some diamonds. Fairly disjoint boards. I see Jack, nine, and a diamond draw for TO. Somebody um, must like have something started. better looking at that equity. We see Rick with the flop yes. Broadway yeah. and the uh, spade drop. Yeah. Also has a six. Okay. Same Broadway for Kenny. Five fold. Seven fold. Yeah, but as you know, a straight is usually never <laughs> That's a great it's never good. Here we go. Trouble <laughs> with the nut diamond draw. I think he's just let it go. I think he had a one way hands. Maybe. Uh, the oh, wait, there's quads, quads. by Jack. <laughs> how, did, how did we miss that? Quads right well, off the bat. Well, you know, he was in the cutoff. <laughs> you know, they showed it last, and, you know, he's got the quads. So uh, he's pretty sure that he's going to win half the pot here, as we see a three and an ace on the turns. Fairly harmless cards. And with his other opponents uh, both having the nut straight on top, this could get 
And so Rick is fun. actually free rolling Kenny here for the top. Rick has the spade draw. Kenny does not. They both have the uh, nut straight, not Broadway, just the king high straight. And uh, I feel JR like that with was. The quads is going to uh, so pot it up to 700. And Rick going to go all in for his remaining uh, 430. I actually don't mind a fold. If I'm Kenny, I am getting the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't mind like, a fold at all. Like my my best case scenario is getting quartered probably. Well, he he knows that one of them has a straight, yeah. and and this is probably unless it's like aces versus fours, which yeah. is extremely unlikely. Calling off to win half the pot, like he has nothing going on the bottom, and he might be. Although this is a bomb pot, he might be the best PLO player on the table, yeah. uh, top three for sure. So. Definitely can get you to make the fold. Very nice fold. Avoids the quarter. And this is going to chop. We're going to get the rivers. The oh, he would have won. The spades got there. He would have lost. But Rick would have got there. With Rick would have got, yeah. Yeah. He was getting free rolled. <laughs> and uh, the free roll did come in. Well, wow, that, that fold by Kenny was even, even more. I don't even know what the word is. Uh, just a great, great fold. A lot of players call that because they have the nut straight, right? How can they lose? But. You yeah, lose. It's a, it's a good <laughs> PLO fold. It's a good bomb pot fold. So here's the thing with split pot games. Drawing to half the pot is a great way to get yourself in trouble. Especially if it's something like a straight with no backup. Straights can get you quartered because someone can have the same straight. And but sets and flushes don't get you quartered because nobody can have the same one as you. But and you think if you have the straight, you're like, well, I won. I, I had the best hand, yet I've lost 300 bucks in that. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, there is the possibility of that free roll. He had no redraws, whereas we saw the other queen 10 did have the spades. Yeah. I think it's easier to fold, too, when you're multi-way. Yeah. Yeah, so... Really good fold, though. A lot of people, we played a lot of bomb pots, and no one really folds in straight. If it's all going to pile in three ways, I like the raise for the quads. Otherwise, I think I'd probably just flap the quads. The reason being that I have a one way hand in his seat, and the moment it gets heads up, I stop making money. Yeah, it's one of those things where you want to get that third person in there. Yeah. So, um, that's, that was, that was the one thing I consider doing differently. And now we're back to PLO. This is uh, this is your forte. You love the uh, four card variety of poker. I believe it. I, I played all. Or all, of yeah. Or all. Like PLO, believe it or not, as not holding games go, I probably play PLO the least. Really? I would. Yeah. I would have thought. Yeah, like I I love myself with some draw games. Like I'm I'm calling draw games. I'm calling stud games if I'm in a next game. I'm not calling the Omaha variant so much. I don't play much full ring PLO. We see some limping here. I wonder if it's going to be. Uh, one of those nights. It looks like the. I don't know if it's a. Okay, it's a mandatory 10 to come in, I think. 1, 2, 10. Or maybe somebody put the 10 on. We see a variety of hands here. Five ways to the flop. A6 dudes, all clubs. Does anybody have a flush? JR has a club. JR has a flush. He has the only flush. He can't feel too good about that. Yeah, the nine high flush is obviously not the nuts by any means. The only other player with a sliver of this is Chris, who does have an ace. So he does have the backdoor boat possibility. I think this is going to fold all the way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to backdoor boat. But if, if the one thing, Chris might talk himself into it. He has the king blocker. He does block the nut clubs. But that's not enough. And in a five-way pot, I'm yeah. holding that too because somebody has a flush when it's five ways. I guess he, I guess he could have gotten creative and said, "Well, he's not betting a, a nut flush because he doesn't have it." Yeah. So it must be two pair. Well, it's not. <laughs> yeah. So here's the rule with multi-way pots, whether it's PLO or anything else. Somebody has it. That's the rule when you're playing multi-way pots, especially when it's five ways. And if a lot of people limp. It, a lot it. of people limp in this game. So. Or they'll call light because it is a There's drawing game. All kinds of trashy flushes that can happen, and then people get real stubborn sometimes. He is <laughs> on to the next hands. Let's see who we got on the table. I know Chris in seat seven. I know Jr. Uh, I think he only plays PLO. I didn't see him play anything else. And of course, we know Kenny. For sure. Um, I played with some other, I just, the name escapes me. Right. So I That's played with Hank before. Hand for Hank right there. Yeah, he should raise that up. Two suits. He, is he raising he, it up? Uh, he limps it. He limps the five. So it's five to come okay. in. Probably uh, like to see a little raise there. Or go ahead and pot Kings that. Kings for Rick. Rick's a good player. But I, I, I 
I've done a couple of these streams, but it was hold them. Makes it 25 queens for Kenny. Queen, queen, 10, 9. I actually like that hand better than Rick's king, king, 9, 8. I like it slightly better. I, in both cases, their big cards aren't the suited ones. Hank just flatting again, ace, queen, 10, 4. He just wants to see a flop with yeah. that. That's where I yell, pot. Well, it's going to make him very uh, exploitable down the line. Five ways. Ace, jack, six. The clubs. So, so Kenny uh, has. Yeah, two clubs. Hank with the queen, high club, two are the best clubs. Rick leading out here. He's got... A pair of kings, and that's all he has. He's leading for sixty dollars. He's an aggressive player. Yeah, like this is maybe slightly out of line. Kenny with the inferior clubs and a pair Back of kings. Backdoor straight flush. He, yeah, he does have. Yeah, he does have a bunch of straight outs. <laughs> so he pulls the sixty. Hank flatting with the queen high clubs ends an ace. Chris with an ace and no backup gets out of there. As does still like to see. I would still like to see Hank raise on any of those streets. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Three clubs. Hank now with the best hand, the queen high clubs. Everyone else drawing dead. Now I'm a bit. I'm a, I'm a big. Uh, I'm a big opponent of, of bet. How fast you bet and call. And Hank called really quick. So that's got a red flag for Kenny there. <laughs> Kenny gonna flat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kenny flush. bet. Yeah. Got a flush. He's got the smaller flush. Oh. King high clubs. So Kenny might feel even better now. This he is has a bad card for. This is a bad card for Kenny. This is now nut versus second nut. Kenny gonna lead, and he's going to lead for I think. Is this full pot or is this? Doesn't this look is like less. it. This is 300. Uh, Hank's going to put the rest of it in, obviously, holding the nuts. And Kenny and now knows. <laughs> and Kenny has to put in 155 more. And it's a pot that is currently 1260. And it's like, I have to fold the second nuts now. Okay. Still a, a great fold, though, but I would prefer him just to, just to check that river. Hank's never going to call me with a weak hand, and I honestly thought I had clean tennis clubs for second. There you go. He thought he had the queen ten of clubs. Oops. Um, he had he had, he had, he had a ten. Yeah. He had a queen. Just, yeah. Here's the thing with double suited hands. Sometimes you forget what suited which way. The moment he saw that he had a queen. I was wondering why he let out. Yeah, we got rid of all the But especially when he bet the turn and he got called so quickly. Yeah. I figured that would be a uh, red flag. Well, the game's on, it's on CBS. It just hasn't started. I don't know who put it on ESPN. Hope you're all enjoying this, this so far in the chat. Make sure hit like, hit subscribe. It might have been so already. It might have been this college bowl. Enjoy this show. We start one percent of the winning it on for you all. Nobody cares about it. It's going right down the line. This would be a hell of a hands if we were playing eight or better. It would be, yeah. but I haven't played that in so long. Yeah. So, so there's uh, Omaha high, low, eight or better, where uh, the, half the pot goes to low hands, and uh, ace three deuce is really good if you want to make the best low. But as it is, still with a chance to make the best high. <laughs> now we get five limpers with uh, nothing that special. We see Wayne sitting with two suits and two set drawers. None of which is three overs on the flop there. King 10, 7, the best. Park draw is Rick with the hard draw. The and will be replayed. Really ten high, and uh, Rick with the hind end. Got it. Seven. 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 That was a mystery. Right. Yeah, I, I was about to say. Yeah. I for, they put the cards out, and then I forget immediately. I look at the graphics because I'm not that bright. I was going to say Wayne had up and down. Kings and sevens for Hank. Thank you. Rick made it 25. He potted it in this one spot. So he's got the hard draw. He's got top two. Five folds, seven folds. Hank gonna just let go of the king seven. The course. Yeah. <laughs> Although he was behind, that is a little. He was behind. He is beating one more. And uh, Rick just gonna take it down without collecting any additional money. Not just 
super early look at the earnings. We play like four hands, but we got um, getting C eight. Was it the queenest? Was it the queenest page or just random? You know what's fucked up? He got the stack in there when he made that versus second. That he, uh, well, he got almost the entire stack in. I just had it in my head. That, I don't know. Again, uh, Kenny makes a lay down the second time that I made a lay down when almost everybody else would have called. I'm not good enough to fold second nuts there. Especially when you have all that money in there. Yeah. Yeah, so. I will, if I do right, see Kenny, I will tell him he got bluffed. Seven, <laughs> sorry, got him. <laughs> okay, it's uh, Trouble. Trouble. He looks familiar. Limping the five. Wayne, that's a that's a nice little hand there. I think this looked like one of those uh, PLO nights where everyone's allergic to raising free. <coughs> Top set for Kenny. I don't see him getting paid at all, but he does have top set. It does check over to him on the button. He pots it, 25 bucks. Nobody really has much at all. They just have like grabs. Wayne could call. He has a combo draw, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the hearts. He's, yeah, he's got the got a, a straight throw there. And well, now it's, over. it's the ace that shows up, which <laughs> does give him a little bit more straight equity. Yeah, he's up and down. He's Broadway now. And he's just trying to figure out how to build this pot up. Ace of 75. He goes full pot. The, uh, but the Ace of Diamonds, uh, that's one of the less bad turns for him. Aces are the only hand that are beating him now. Which is perfectly is reasonable for him to have. He could have had Aces and just flatted that. It is 50 from Kenny, not full pot. Wayne reaching for some chips here. I was going to say, if he raised, that's... That'd be a nice move because he's not going to be able to do anything on the river if he misses. Instead Just he like that. One shot. And the four of spades. Another pretty harmless card here. Four 145. 145 from Kenny. Almost full pot. And Wayne left with just a pair of tens and a bunch of busted draws. One point. And he makes the fold. Third pair, usually not a winner in PLO. No. Listen. Button is cold red. I want to buy it as we want. Buy it. I have a group on. You got a group on? Perfect. All right. Yep. Yeah. 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 You have eight here? <laughs> you got eight? Even with that win, Kenny is uh, 600. That's all to that one hand against yeah. Hank there. Back cooler. Early on in the show. Most of us cover when that happened. So now C2 is going by TOT. Worldwide. <laughs> I know him by a different name. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to call him TO. TO, that's Uncle. Uncle T. Yeah. Uncle Tom. I'm going to let that hang there. You're going to let that hang there. <laughs> Don't cancel me. Please. Don't cancel me. Um, yeah, I played with him a bunch. And, uh, yeah, generally, whatever it says on the screen, I'm just going to run Burgundy that, like, like, whatever's there. Yeah, I'm famous for uh, calling him by their real name as the stream goes on. <laughs> yeah. All right, good to go. Nine fold. So, he's going to play his... Two Queen Jack 7-6, seven, 7-6 six, seven, six suited. Kind of raggedy there. If nobody's raising, why not? <laughs> like it's like you're basically just throwing darts at a board when you're playing it this way. In PLO, ideally, you want four cards that work together. Queen Jack 7-6 with the bad suit doesn't really do the job. Trouble has aces, and he's suited which will do the job. I think he can creep at this hand. Yeah, this is Especially definitely these are not great aces. You do have one suit, but you don't have really much coordination at all. Yeah, the there's no straights really going to work for him there. And we can't make a low with the deuce tonight, sadly, as much as I wish as you. that we were playing that game. But hey, you know what? Thursdays now, it's becoming a thing here at TCH Austin. We get big O games. I hear they got two tables last week. I can't make it because of work. I wish I knew that. I love I love big O. What are the stakes? 
two five one one two probably like one, one two. two and uh, trouble street that will get the job done yes so big o for those that are familiar that is five card hot women omaha highway all right you tell me this one, you think four cards is crazy wait until you get a fifth card you can only play straight flushes so is it just something you can be a little bit lighter than <laughs> i know that. uh but full houses but when straight. you have five cards like one of the one of the things to really know when you have five cards instead of four they will always have a suit. Whether it's a good suit, who knows? Uh, whether it's one suit or two, who knows? But they will always have a suit because there are four suits. And you have five cards. Mm -hmm. The pitch and hold principle. I've never, I've never played Big O as a cash game. I've played a few tournaments. <laughs> never as a cash game. I played it in cash a couple of times. I wish it was like uh, a, uh, as pot like limit. Joe like, I, like it gets called a lot in a, as a fixed limit game in uh, in some mixed games that I played in. And uh, well, I know late at night, you know they'll, they'll start turning that into dealer's choice or yeah, yeah. mixed games. And those uh, can be pretty fun. All those other games though are just too crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my uh, my traumatic big O memory was uh, the dealer's choice tournament last year at the series. I have a bunch of chips, and then one of the things that went really wrong after uh, day two dinner break was a big O hand against the eventual winner. I have ace, ace, deuce, XX, double suited. I get it in three with the eventual winner. And he has aces, and he has one suit. Oh, he has the other. And he has a deuce. And his suit flops. Like he flops the flush, and then I'm making a low. And how low? Top set plus nut flush draw for trouble. In this Jillian Way pot here. No, I, and, I don't know how uh, these other players Trouble call. has the entire world in his hands. Wayne with the jack high club draw. That is about as good as he can get right there. Yeah, and uh, a few gut shots. None of which are improved by the nine of spades. He's going to start betting this as a now a straight draw. Yeah, this is this is getting scary. He's going to go just a third. Top set is top sweat in this game. Yeah. That said, he does have the backup with the clubs. No matter what card comes out, it's almost always going to complete somebody straight. Yeah. So he made it 40. Wayne's going to call with his uh, jack high clubs and uh, ace nine for top two. Hank has got a gutter to a straight flush. I guess that's some hope. But of course, Chris has. The, uh, yeah, the, like there. he's got a he's got a bad draw. Yeah, this is a whole he's gonna get away from. Uh, I mean, wide, seven four four three. He's gonna make the call, and we're gonna go four ways to our river somehow. Two hundred eighty in the middle. All right, we got four players. Let's see who's gonna get there. Jack of Hearts. Hank is going to get there with second set, which is not going to be the winner. No straights now. It's probably the only card. <laughs> this is a really, really good card for Trouble in that he can't he's going to win. Yeah. He has the nuts. And he's going to make it 95. Wayne now with top three pair, which is not actually a thing, but he has three pair. Aces and jacks and nines. He's going to call Hank. Has a set. He's going to call, and he's going to see that second nuts right, are so not enough. I actually didn't like either one of those calls. Um, the case yeah. ace and the case jack showing up on the board. Got to love this game. Like I, I, I can understand Hank. Yeah, Hank does have second nuts. Yeah, but that's all the drawers missed. He shouldn't have got there. He should have folded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, if I get to the river, yeah. I like the call. I would have folded that hand free, honestly. Jack, Jack, five, four with just bad clubs. I, I fold that hand. He was we want four that cards that work together. With the four or five of clubs. People and will play yeah, those. We made the second nuts and we lost is what happens. So, yeah, that guy, uh, Brett Rubin was his name. Uh, apparently, he's a pretty good mixed game player. Yeah, he flops his flush with his one suit. And then, mercifully, I get a low and I get quartered instead of just <laughs> being out. <laughs> So I lose half my stack, and then the same guy, like we, we go on to the Deucey, which it's a, it's a draw game, it's a split pot. The important thing is he had second nuts both ways, and I had third nuts one way. 
and that cost me some money, but not as much as it could have because, like, I imagine I made third nuts both ways. Oh. And uh, you got to be good on one more. <laughs> yeah, that would have uh, that would have been possible. Poker monkey, good to see you. Uh, yeah, I wasn't on the cruise. I was here on dry lands, holding down the fort and uh, playing some poker and doing my day job. And, uh, Hope you had a great time on the cruise. I know Aaron made a run in the main over there on the cruise. That's the, our friend Aaron McAvoy, frequent commentator and player on the show, as we are shaping up to have like almost the family pot again. We got right, these tiny rays up to 20 from Chris. Call, 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 call. Yeah, this is exactly how we teed it up, right? So many hands, we can't see them all on the graphics. We have Worldwide in six. He played the last time we had the PLO stream. King, eight, four. I see Kings and fours for Hank, which is uh, top and bottom. That's probably the best hand. Uh, Wayne's got a gutter, I suppose. And so yeah. does Tio. Yeah, Kenny has Six, ten, top 20. pair, top kicker. Seven King. Worldwide is betting the 20, holding. <laughs> I got shot in some back doors. Uh, we're just seeing people gamble here. They just want to see they're, they're turn. Just, they're pressing the, the call button. And, uh, we're going to a turn five ways. It does make it fun, though. It does make it yeah. fun. It gives us, yeah. It gives us it, it's just really hard to keep track of who's got what. And uh, Ace of Spades on the turn. That is not going to help anybody. Oh, Nobody no has, has a spade draw. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought That's Chris That's Ace did, King but. for Kenny now. Top two for Kenny. Uh, top and third pair for Wayne with his Ace eight. So two players with Aces up. I think we've checked through here. I saw that. Dealer. Okay, three of Spades yeah. on the end. The space that check, nobody has get check. there. This uh, might go check all the way around. This probably yeah. checks through. Kenny Four has six, three eight. pair, and he has the best the best two pairs. Six fold. Goes for sixty dollars. He doesn't have any spades. He doesn't block the spades at all. He's gonna bet it. Seven I I wonder. I mean, I, I'm not sure what that accomplishes, but maybe <laughs> this is supposed to be like some kind of weird blocker. Or somebody well, he gets a set to fold. Or he's trying to get yeah. like five deuce to fold somehow. Yeah, like pocket fours are going to fold here. And they might. <laughs> they might. I love a good value block, don't you? <laughs> kind of merged his range here a little bit. <laughs> he got it through. Thank you, thank you. All okay. right. All right, guys. We're at a bomb pot. $10 for me, please. Bomb pot. Yeah. Looks like they got the bomb pot button out there. So uh, looks like probably every orbit they're going to play with. Yeah, we're going to have a bomb pot every 30 minutes, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're coming up. That's what the right. players wanted, so. Yeah. And we're playing PLO anyway. I wonder if they call hold them as a dealer's choice. <laughs> I don't think that's a choice tonight. I think it's just four cards. Well, we do have a new player worldwide. He's been on the stream a few times. I think he ran really well last time. Just didn't want to say, but he ran really well. Um, yeah, he did. He did call off a lot to hit his one-outers, and, <laughs> and he hit. That's how it goes. Sometimes <laughs> you just make all the draws, and that's when you uh, you have a good night. And uh, if you're playing a tournament, that's when they give you the trophy. That's when I, I haven't start achieved that playing, level of run good I yet. i got to start playing tournaments. Well, I mean, it's a good thing that, you know, every <laughs> June or so, like, they run this series yeah, that yeah. attracts people from all over the world. And they I play will definitely do that, but I want to play tournaments before that because... Well, you Nash know, we is a lot different. Than you, you can do that in Texas, and uh, I know. you can do that here at TCH. You can uh, go to texascardhouse.com, see all the tournaments we run. That Sunday bounty is really fun. Have we played it? Oh, worldwide flops the straight. Yeah, the uh, nut straight, and he's got the eight high club draw on the bottom. So he's, he's really got school hoping. ability. He has yeah. the best clubs, which this isn't a hand that you look at as scoopable, but. It's scoopable. We do have Wayne with uh, the King Deuce for two pair. Does have the gut shot up top as well. He calls. A nine would be devastating for Worldwide as it gives Hank a better straight. Rick calling with uh, seven high club draw and uh, a pair and two pair. Some He's got two stuff. pair on top. Yeah, ten and sevens. You're right. 
A six and a ten. So world's wide now with the the uh, additional one straight equity on the bottom. He's got a gut shot on the bottom now. Uh, he's still good up top though. Another hard draw another flush draw comes in. You don't love that. Two forty. Seven bet, two forty. Yeah, that's I remember Worldwide was very aggressive in PLO. Um, certainly and it paid off for him. Wayne with not a whole lot on the top. Just a gut shot on the top. He's got top and bottom on the bottom board. You don't really love that hand. This is a one-way hand, and it's a pretty marginal one, especially when, like, half the deck is going to be bad for you with flushes getting there. And this is 40% of his stack. With, with another card to come on the river, Wayne would have to go all in here to realize some of that equity. But Rick now, 10, 9, 7, 4. Again, like, he's got some pretty mediocre stuff. I, this is another hand that I probably just fold here. Middle two pair, and then a pair and a weak draw. Uh, I think he might call. Yeah, he's reaching for call on chips. He's reaching for more than that. He goes all in. Really, just not even a min raise. He's going to get snapped by Worldwide. Beat him to the pool. He got beat to the pot, and he's actually winning on one board. Is Jack this going to be a queen? chop? Chop it up. Uh, Worldwide <laughs> has the uh, the straight on the top on the bottom. Rick is going to win with a pair of tens. A pair of tens. With a nine kicker is going to win half the pot. I love that. Yeah, it's be the nine yeah I, I. And Rick's a gambler too. He 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 doesn't care. Um, I'm not sure what the move was there. He wasn't trying to push him out of the pocket because he already rolled out his arm was all in there with everything. He had. So that was I, I would never have done that honestly. That was uh, like he had he had so few chips behind. I he's literally never getting folded. Yeah, I was no I was somehow there, saw that last hand where second nuts folded to $150. Unless it's that situation, but this is not that situation. <laughs> and it's not that player. <laughs> it's not that player either. That's for sure. Yeah, so. Yeah, if we were doing it by time, so that we wouldn't have enough. Yeah, uh, TexasCardHouse.com if you uh, want to see those tournaments. So we've actually added some tournaments that have some PLO in them now, actually. On Monday nights, there's a. Right now. A round of tonight, yeah. yeah there should be. Is it around? Round of another half hour, I think. I think it starts at 7. There's that round of each. That sounds like a lot of fun. That is a fun one. It's <laughs> fun. long. Have you and I ever played a tournament together? I'm sure it's happened a couple of times. I'm sure it's happened a couple of times. I like the fact that it was like players, not just like... Probably it's just like around here at uh, TCH. Probably, yeah. Like I'll randomly fire the weekly sometimes if I've got nothing going on that rare night. Where, uh, right. Well, I always have a choice. I have cash games, uh, or I, have, I can play a tournament. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play cash. Second stop, <laughs> yeah. three fold. Four call, second stop, they cancel our excursion, but then it's only five minutes before it's just being snorkeling. Well, I am looking forward. I, I'm going in um, July. I haven't quite picked the dates out for Vegas. Six bet, 20, but seven bet. Aces for Worldwide. He's got a suit. He's got a king. He's going to go for a tiny $20 raise. I'm sure we told like yesterday, so I could have booked for the difference. JR with nine call, okay hands. Lots of good in here. Yeah, so I'll be out there the entire summer. If you all see me out there, feel free to say hi. My uh, first goal is going to be to get there without hurting myself this time. Oh, that's right. You, like, hurt your foot. I broke my foot at a gas station. Before I even oh, you drove out, out there. Yeah, yeah, I, I drove out be, there. I won't be doing that. I'm going to be there for six weeks. I'm going to have my car. They go five ways, two a flop of ten, nine, two, couple of no. diamonds. Any Jack Queen out there? No. no. no it was oh, right draw. there. Hank, the Hank has an up and down, so that means he's going to stick check, around. Check. Nobody with diamonds. Check. Check. Worldwide. Worldwide does have to try diamonds. He is blocking it. He could make an attempt to come through. And there's the five of diamonds. Nobody has a made flush. We have four players with a diamond, but nobody with two diamonds. That's really going to slow things down. Yeah, this does feel like a bit of an action killer here. Five. The five does pair Wayne. One of five. One of five is a bluff. But oh, Worldwide is using his ace of diamonds as a bluff here. Right. I like it. I mean, this guy doesn't really need reason to bet, so... And now he actually has reason. He has a nut blocker. 
That said, this is also five ways. So like anytime you're blocking, you're betting in a five. Anytime you're bluffing in a five-way pot, that is an adventurous. Yeah, that's, and then Jr. has got top set. So words are hearts, as our friend Aaron would say. Yes, Jr. does have top set. He's looking. He's looking for that board to pair. That, it'd be interesting that? to see how that would uh, turn out if it doesn't. Well, you're going to get to find out. Eight of diamonds does not pair the board. Will worldwide go for it? He will pot it. Three hundred fifteen dollars. That is the largest bet available in pot limit Omaha. Jr. with just a second. What a great fold. bet! What a great turned it into a He's bluff. He's going to show it. Turned it into a bluff with the ace of diamonds. It's good for TV. It is good for TV. I agree with you, sir. And it's you know. He's holding his heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't blame JR. There's no way he can call. You know, having a top set there, you might as well have one pair. Yeah, that was a disgusting one after top set. And I'd actually prefer Worldwide not showing there. Yeah. He's going to get called lighter. Maybe that's his plan. Uh, he's, it could be his plan. He's definitely losing credibility by doing that. I'm embarrassed that I didn't see a top set, but I mean I didn't like, see it either until we got to the <laughs> until we got to the turn. Yeah, Tio has been really quiet. Not sure he's played a hand yet. Could be the Cowboys uh, gear he's wearing. <laughs> Most people know I'm an Eagles fan. And I'm not a Giants fan, so I'm not that offended. I know you're a Broncos fan. I'm a Broncos fan. You just got fan. the best coach in the NFL. Considerable up right there. And considerable up two pair for, for JR. JR. Wow. Two. Although top two in PLO doesn't feel like it does. In Actually, he has top three. Oh, he yeah. He, well, he, he blocks his own boat ball. now. He blocks he has, his. Well, he has six outs, six outs instead of four. Oh, that's true, yeah. If he had a set, then we don't want to have any of the other pairs. Uh, and he will bet his three pair. $20, just like the third pot. Tio got a full top pair with no backup. Yeah, he had good fold. Break is calling. He's got a king and not much else. I really, calls, he's got a string. He's I got really a string like Rick's track. game. Um, I haven't seen him really play PLO. I've seen him play a lot of Hold'em. I really like his game. And now he picks up a flush draw, which is the best right. flush draw. Uh, JR, this time with the dry nut blocker, though. He's got the king of hearts. If it does come to that. He's going to turn that into a bluff. So he wants to do what Worldwide did to him. <laughs> And he is blocking the sets. When you have like two pair, when you have three pair, you are blocking the sets. And that's all that's beating you right now. Rick with his head so head Rick is dead to a king or a heart here. No, he's not even dead to a king. He he's dead he to a heart. Yeah, he needs, yeah, a, heart he needs a heart. Or he needs a queen. Could get a queen. That's wow. not that one, though. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, need, what am I saying? Yeah, you had. I thought you had a ten. Yeah, I was like, he needs a queen. All right. He doesn't need a queen. PLO is hard. It really is. That's probably why I don't play it as much. Check, check, and Jr. decides this is enough value. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend that I spoke the queen into existence like I did that deuce of hearts last week. If you guys didn't see, see the show last week, I called for a deuce of hearts and then a, a straight and a flush both got there on that turn. And I swear I do that off stream too. Alan Pichatello, great to see you. Yay, PLO. Yay for having you in the chat. I know. Why don't, you, why don't you play this one? That's Brutus Poker. That is Brutus yeah, Poker. Yeah, it's Brutus Poker, yeah. Long time front of this program, going back to the early days. Yeah, Chris needed the queen. Thank you, A. Griff. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, and I was just following my partner's lead on that, so... Yeah, so here's, yeah this is my fault. Yeah, so uh, I haven't had a lot of sleep the last few days because my day job kept me 
surprisingly busy. Do you have a job? <laughs> I do have a day job. Believe it or not, what is I'm that like? I, I I don't, so. <laughs> it's just well, poker for me. Well, they make you do stuff every now and then. And sometimes you have to do stuff at a weird hour. And so like an engineer or. I'm a software engineer. Yeah. And, yeah, sometimes that's life. And, uh, As yeah, you may or may not know, I used to work for Microsoft for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but I was not a software engineer. Uh, I, I never worked there. I worked with some other big tech company in Seattle for a while. Uh, not Microsoft, though. I lived in Seattle for a little bit. Um, in Jair, Bellevue. Five check. Jair with two pair. Uh, spade draw. Wayne has the queen high spades. Worldwide with the lesser spades, the nine high. Worldwide is going to be 15. making the bet here. Hank's got a gutter. And I feel like if, that, if those Chris spades come in, I think Worldwide's going to pay him off. He's got an ace, and he's got a gutter of his own. They are folds. Wayne with the queen high spades and Michael. the gut shot. Uh, call, so is Hank. To the turn we go. And nine of clubs. So a, set, a set for Worldwide. Set for Worldwide. And now he's got the set, plus he's got the flush draw, which is no good. Hank and Wayne both with open enders ten. And he blocks the other straight, so Hank is probably not going anywhere, I would imagine, given the fact that he's got a, he's got a combo draw here. Oh, no, he doesn't. 75 from Worldwide, who actually has a hand now. This might get him paid off a little bit, because he just showed that. Yeah, nobody's going to believe him after that. Which is, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. We're going to get a very um, loose call by... By Chris there, because of that hand, yeah. because of what Worldwide did last time. Two players behind him though. Like I don't think that's the time where I'm gonna be a hero. No, no, I, I might not have even been in this hand to begin with. <laughs> Wayne with a non-nut draw and a straight draw that maybe somebody else could have, but there's not that many queen tens that get here. Yeah, and I think Wayne Wayne's gonna call here. He's got. He's, like you said, he's got the up and down, plus the flush draw. I'm more inclined to get out if I'm him, and he does just that. Three ways to the river. World's wide looking to fade a straightening card. He's looking to fade a He's looking, he's looking for a three <laughs> as the, as the one card. Yeah, we want to avoid a four. We want to avoid a king or an eight. That Juice is, of clubs is going to give Chris the bottom set. He might feel Worldwide good enough to good. call with that. I mean, especially if Worldwide is betting there. He's, he's potting like, it. He said 100. Three, six, five? I thought I heard Worldwide say pot. Maybe I'm wrong. Not just 100. I heard pot. Apparently I heard was, pot. So from what I heard just now, it sounded like maybe somebody said 100, and then he, or he said 100, and then he said pot somehow. I don't really know what happened, but uh, the bet spent rolled 100 towers. And uh, gets the ball from the bottom set. Wayne missed. He gets out of there. And, uh, oh, he could just throw the cards on the table. Turns over the nines. <laughs> so you do have the table all four cards if you want to win the pot. I felt like Chris was calling in no matter what the amount was, given his stack size there. Yeah, it seems that way. And there was some lost value there from Worldwide. So chips getting chips both wide swing. Yeah, he's picking up where he left off last time. <laughs> Seems that way. Ooh. I gotta get my Chris is on. just unlucky there. I think that a lot of times Chris would have the winning hand there. Um, it's kind of unlucky. I am the most unluckiest person on this okay. when I gamble. <laughs> yeah, I've never won one. Well, there's the first time for everything. <laughs> so uh, I've just won. I uh, I got 59. 
I think you can keep that in there. I, uh, I don't even have enough to gamble. All right. So I'd say confirm custom. First time. Whoa. I'm in the herd in here. Six calls. Seven bet. Twenty. Eight calls. Nine calls. Two calls. Let's see. Three Chris. Calls. Thanks for joining with the queen. Jack, Jack, seven with one suit. Kind of, kind of a weaker hand, and uh, everyone's calling because uh, because they can. It's like basically bomb pot night, I guess. Yeah, even if you have a really strong pre-flop hand and you just pot it. We're going a million ways. Queen eight seven, and I see queen seven for Chris. I see a set of, eight. set of eights for Hank. Eight of spades, eight of hearts. Seven Shout out Steve Dola. He's got, oh, worldwide. He's got a pretty hand there with. Uh, and he's got some but, straight possibilities. Yeah. And uh, some overs is Chris making it $50 with his queen Nine seven. Uh, JR also with queen seven makes it 50. Teal calling. He has Ace King Ten Nine, which is the open ender. Over to Hank with middle set here, and the uh, hind ends of the gut shot. He's gonna fold. Worldwide gonna call. Sorry, sir. Gonna try and get lucky here. We're gonna get to the turn four ways. All right, we do have four players. Ace of diamonds. Um, it's going to bring in another plus draw, or a plus draw here. But nobody, oh, JR with the, uh, got the diamonds there, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Although and it's Chris not the nut diamonds. Chris is all in for 175, which is about half pot. Chris still holding, like he's holding like middle and bottom pair. Queen seven. And he, oddly, he can make a set of jacks, <laughs> which will probably complete somebody straight like worldwide. Yeah, Tia would have Broadway if the jack came, and there are no more jacks. Yeah, I can see that now. He doesn't know that, though. Yeah. Two calls. Tio going to make the call with his. Uh, he's got an up and he's down. He's got an ace, so he's actually picked up a pair to go along with his. Uh, Straight outs here. He'll need to get a six here. That he will. And uh, or I'm gonna call or an ace. Six calls. Worldwide also making the call. Four players, one all in as we go to this river. Worldwide is blocking his own out. <laughs> yeah. Worldwide pretty dead. Everyone else with a lot of life, but watch Worldwide uh, just pull it out. It is sort of a wrap, right? You know, if a king comes, he wins. There's not going to be a jack. If a ten comes, he wins. How about another ace, Tio? Now with trip aces, top trips. None of the flushes get there. We all check. Going to turn over the ace king. Oh which is gonna scoop it. Oh, you need these. I often, back door, I, I, baby, back I often like the explanation of why you called. He was telling him, "This is why I called." <laughs> you don't have to be apologetic for chasing. Or <laughs> yeah, there are some times where you get there and you win the pot and you don't feel proud of it. I'm always proud of it. Like, how I is, got <laughs> like I tried to punt and then I won. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Tio. I was like, why not, man? I got, I got a lot of outs here. Yeah, that was not one I was counting. Yeah, that was not one I was counting. I see four players <laughs> in the <laughs> green tonight. Tio, Treble, Hank, and Worldwide. I believe Chris is going to call it a night from the look at it. I see a seat empty. Did just get stuck there. I don't know if there's a list or not. If there was a list, then. Uh, there was. But right when I walked in, there were 15 people on the list. Um, and Chris wasn't one of them. So. He was who was number? Oh. Well, hopefully, we get someone else in there to uh, fill the seat. All right, it's five good. Eight 
Okay, so well, we have myself or William here. Actually, no, no, no I'm if, not playing PLO. If half the table, <laughs> okay, if half the table gets stacked, and I have to save the show playing PLO four-handed, I'll do that. You'll do the sacrifice. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time I played four-handed, three-handed PLO on these airwaves to save the show. He's a giver. If you know, you <laughs> he know. He gives till it hurts. <laughs> Alan Pichatello in the chat. Uh, he can uh, he can attest to that. He was uh, he was one of those three. Oh. We got to get him back here on this one. You know what? Ace Jack Ten. I believe you. <laughs> uh, Rick has Broadway, and worldwide has, worldwide has a royal has flush a royal, draw. He's got a royal draw. Plus he has two pairs. He's pair. got two pairs. So this is going to get fun. This will get good. And he's an aggressive player. We see Jr. with oh. a jack and the ass ends we, of the straight. And Rick has a wrap. Oh, the Queen of Diamonds is spoken for. <laughs> Boo. Oh, Rick has the straight already. He has got a king queen. Oh, that's <laughs> He has Broadway. He has no backup. I was like, he has to hit one. He's got Broadway and no backup is what he has. So, uh, and with all this action in front of him, he's got to think somebody else has got the same goals. one. Rick going to raise now. He's going to try and shut it down now. Kenny has basically nothing. Alan says he'll do it. Well, I hope we get the chance to do it someday. How much was we, I will send you a message the next, the next, I think we do it once a month. Four ten. It's like, like that, roughly yeah. once a month. Yeah. Four ten. Four ten. I've Four actually. He's <laughs> feeling <laughs> awesome right now. He's got two pair what, and he's got two That hands. man has so much gamble in him. Makes it 410. Rick's not going anywhere. Rick's got the they're nuts and he's going to just try and hold. It sounds like they're going twice here. Worldwide's going to win this. That's the prediction from Dante. Yeah, it's, he's just got so many outs. A lot of which are sitting in the muck, but yeah, he that, doesn't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> and actually, I take it back. Rick's going to win this. <laughs> yeah, Rick is going to win the first board. Rolls wide is going to. Oh, I thought that was a boat, but no. Wow, so Rick, Rick is going to take this down. It's very rare to see the straight hold. When you're when you're only on the flop, so with no redraws, with nothing, yeah. Yeah, Alan, it's generally Mondays, I think. You yeah, never it's know Mondays. These days. Well, I they're know, uh, Houston's getting online at some point. Well, they don't have the Thursdays here anymore, right? Yeah, like we're not regularly doing Thursday shows, but next Thursday, uh, hint, hint, guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, next Thursday, we'll be on air from Austin. And it'll be a special one. It'll be a fun one. Getting this pot shift over. Russell going to uh, count it out. Our dealer this evening. Alan, yeah. one flop, two turns, two rivers. You know, you were there. You were there, Alan. Yeah. Yeah. One of the uh, more interesting moments in the uh, three plus years with Alan there. We had a PLO stream one night, and uh, I was actually drafted in at the last minute. I was here playing one, two. And the person from Houston who was here organizing the game said, hey, we got seats. And uh, like, okay, I'll fill a seat. And then uh, there was a dispute about what it meant to run twice. <laughs> and uh, like apparently there's there's a segment of Houston poker that has some different ideas about running twice, what that means. The story sounds not, very familiar. It was not two full boards. So, so here in Austin and everywhere else in the country, it's two full boards. But apparently there's a segment. It's the flop Houston and then like one turn, two flop turns. flop and then two turns, two rivers, something like that. And uh, there was some dispute. And then all the Houston players quit the game. Oh, yeah. And I then guess. there were like three of us who were uh, playing PLO. And it was fun. There was some, so playing short handed, you actually get into a lot more interesting spots. I do have a question. If I'm playing full ring like tonight, like I can, I'm basically just trying to make the nuts. So like aces versus kings here, for example. 
I'm just trying to make the nuts. Does the variance change with the, with the flop? <laughs> no, right? It's the same here. <laughs> so what's the I'm difference? Sure, I'm sure somebody will do a video on <laughs> There's that. the kings. There's the, the kings. kings. Set for, uh, set for Who's Hank's got the side. diamonds? Kenny has the diamonds. Trouble uh, with the nut trouble blocker. Trouble with the gutter and a nut blocker and an overpair. JR's got the queen nine. He's got bottom set. $25 from JR. Rick has a pair and a bad diamond draw. Kenny Kenny has with a clean high diamond. Second nut diamond draw. He's going to claw. He's, got a, he's also got a gut he's got shot. A gutter, there. That's yeah. right. Hank just flatting top set. I would raise he this. He has no backup. I'm raising. I would raise I'm this. Getting it yeah. in while I'm ahead. Yeah, you need very specific cards here, and that's not one of them, right? Ace Jack now it got there. It is really awesome for Trouble, though. <laughs> so, Trouble, trouble Broadway. <laughs> and he blocks it a little, so. Now. Yeah, trouble with Broadway, that is the best hand, and we still have set over set as a thing that's happening. 8-bit, 125. 125 from Trouble with his newly turned nuts here. Blocks the nut diamonds. He doesn't actually have any backup with his hands. Well, I think Hank is going to call, but I think Kenny can find a fold here, I guess. Yeah, he just doesn't, he's not drawn to the nuts there, so. Multi weight, like we want to be nuttier. Yeah, and, um, of course, yeah, Hank's going to call. He knows he's probably no good here. He's looking for that board to pair, obviously. It does not. And so I can't believe Kenny folded up. <laughs> Kenny had the ace queen with a chop here. Four way into a straight. Again, I for know. those of you who don't know PLO, just an ace isn't enough to have a straight here. You do need another card to make the straight. And Kenny had uh, ace queen, so that would he would have had a straight. Hank going to show the set and fold it disgustedly. So I say top set is top sweat. I mean, you do the right thing. You got to bet it. Yeah, this was a. It, yeah, of course, trouble's going to bet the nuts. That was just a god awful run out for the set of kings. I probably would have pressed a little bit harder. Yeah, Alan recounting the story from that night. Uh, yeah, it's like I bought in fairly short, and there was like an eight way all in right out of the gate because uh, that table did a lot less lending than this one. <laughs> and then, like, I won, like, I mean, pot in like one side pot. Like, I somehow had queens and made a set of queens and was good. The set was the, uh, dealer was rewarded for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, set of queens and then uh, what? What the? Uh, anyway, like I was saying before, all that happens. If I'm playing full ring like this, I'm much more inclined to just go for the nuts. I can I, I can have a lot tougher decisions playing like three, four hands it, and uh, like there's a lot more hands that can be good. Yeah, I've only played one. Well, it was actually a round of each, PLO and uh, Hold On. And that was with Alan uh, yeah. a couple months ago. And uh, I only played the nuts in the PLO. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only. I won one hand. It was a big one, but I won one hand all night in PLO. Yeah, I don't know if there was a replay that night or not. It wouldn't surprise me if I like got stacked in report, though. Like, I'm not a PLO specialist by any means. And uh, I dip my toes in every now and then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, nobody with the deuce here on his ace deuce deuce, and uh, Tia with the only ace. Nobody with any real draws. So uh, pot remains an impressive twenty-five dollars. All right, burns off. Burns off. Jack of Diamonds gives trouble a pair of jacks. And uh, Tio now with a gut shot. JR with Diamond Draw. And Set it a boat. JR is going to get a boat there. Yeah, Tio makes Broadway as well. So probably some money goes in. JR with the boat. King on the river making a second boat. Oh, Tio is going to raise this up. A tiny $20 bet gets the raise from Tio. And now we're going to see a little Hollywooding here. I think this is where JR is going to punish him with a, a three bet. It's going to be 150. Oh, it's a uh, sneaky min raise. <laughs> yeah, just a click. And, uh, and Tio's like, I hope it's a chop. I hope you have, I hope you have a queen 10. It's like, what did I just step in? I didn't want that. 
and you block uh, you uh, block aces full that got slow played. He's gonna flick it in. Wow, Jr. played that nice. Yeah. Alan says he really likes heads up DLO. One of the things I like about the mixed games is that, is that they play shorter handed. Like if you play that dealer's choice of a series that's six handed. I'm still not doing it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I, um, you want to sit there playing like no limit five parts rough? <laughs> or the Deucey, the Daisy, the Doogie. What about those other games like? Stud regular. Oma draw, drama. None of that. None of that's made it to the dealer's choice. Okay. I was Oma wondering. Because I feel like those are made up games. I mean, I, I like them. Oh, I play yeah. them. There's like, there's like seven <laughs> drama highs that are like made up nonsense. And like you don't actually see those in tournaments anywhere yet. Yeah, there's uh, drama high, drama high juice to seven. Uh, oh, that's just too much. Jugi. What's that one game where you, you're playing? you're playing... That you're making a Texas Hold'em hand, and you're making a uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. So half that's fun, half, actually. Half that's on. actually <laughs> that's the game I always call. I don't really do it well in it. But. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely a lot more variants. We're at a bomb pot, by the way. Speaking of variants. Yeah, speaking of variants, how about... Uh, straight flush draw there yeah, for, uh, got shot for JR. JR. Plus, he's got a, just a straight open ender himself. So he's got nice little draw. He has nothing on the other board, though. Unless you count that four. Wayne with the jack high clubs and a gut shot up top. Uh, Tio with his bad his, club draw. Yeah, he's got his own club draw there. And a set of queens by middle, Rick. Yeah, middle set for Rick. Not much on the bottom, though. Four call, five fold. 65. Kenny's Six got... Eight the jack ten folded. Yeah. yeah. Or queen. No, jack ten, yeah. I don't blame him. Worldwide. He's got aces. He's got. He's like he's got, got shots. Yeah, and he's stuff. got some back. Yeah. This is a call for worldwide for sure. We're back down to Tio here. Yeah, there wasn't much. Yeah. Three ways to the turns. Rick out front with middle set on the top, the bottom. Right now, uh, Penny with the king and uh, the draws. The Jack Ten would have got there. With the with the nine coming on the top board, the, we do uh, have five. Five. Nobody with a five here. So, uh, World's Wide looking better with his aces now. The uh, the draws uh, have uh, disappeared. Fifty from Rick. Kenny does find a call with the top two. Kenny needs a king. Or he needs to uh, another seven. The bottom. Yeah, not much there. Three of diamonds, three of spades. So Rick's going to take the top with worldwide on the bottom. Looks like. Yeah, aces and fives on the bottom. And Rick has no fear. No fear of the jack ten there. Yeah, just the one way hand, he's going to make the bet. I don't know what he'd do against the raise. Well, there's not enough chips for him to fold, I don't think. I think if he gets raised, he's going to just side call. Kenny trying to figure out if his top two is good. On, he's got top two on both boards, actually. Uh... King, oh, queen, so king seven, but, but king the seven. Uh, aces and fives. So oh, that's true, yeah. King, queen, or the king seven. <laughs> this might get worldwide to fold here. That's a raise. And yeah, oh, now you oh, pick yeah. the raises up. So uh, Kenny actually going to take half the pot now, now that he's uh, gotten rid of the better hands on the bottom. Still a pretty oh, daring move. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's uncharacteristic of Kenny to make a lose. That is a loose call, but he's, he's gambling here, but that's uncharacteristic of him. He's pretty, pretty buttoned up here. Well, with two, two kings on the board and one in your hand, there's no set of kings. There's at least that. Yeah. Okay. And a five is going to have a hard time folding those. The problem never I, like I guess you have a six, you can say, well, I block the straight, but I don't love blockers that much in bomb pots, honestly. So I can call. 
because nobody cares. Like nobody. Yeah, and that five was really, really live too, right? Because there's no ranges obviously in Bob Pot, so anybody could have a five. But we see people who are happy to call it the fortieth nuts. <laughs> we have the draft coming up this month. The draft, yeah. Oh, you don't have a first round pick, do you? Uh, we have we have Miami's pick now. Oh, the Bradley, so the, the Chubb got yeah. rented out. You had to give a you had to give a pick away for uh, Peyton, didn't you? Uh, Russell, Russell was No, you didn't. Didn't the, the, the Broncos have the, 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 the first round pick? Yeah, I think that was. Oh yeah. Well, I thought it was. I, I don't thought, know for sure. I don't think the Broncos have a first round pick. And we had shipped the ones that we had to uh, yeah. Seattle, and then we got the one from Miami. I don't know if New Orleans got that one or the one for next year. Which I think is ridiculous. <laughs> but worth it. Giving a first round pick for a coach, not a player. I just saw, I've never, I've never well, seen that before. <laughs> have you seen the parade of coaches that we had before Sean Payton? Well, I, I thought, actually thought Hackett was going to be good. I, was wrong. <laughs> I got very worried the moment they just blew off preseason. Which uh, Sean Payton said, we're not blowing off preseason. But, I mean, they showed up so unprepared last year. <laughs> yeah, Hackett had no idea what he was doing. He was in over his head. And uh, what's his name before that? Uh, Vic Fangio. He didn't know he was doing. He's he a good defensive coach. coach. He was a, he's a career coordinator. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then uh, his predecessor was actually back in Denver, Vance Joseph. Again, as a defensive, like, yeah. I like him as a coordinator. Jack 9-3. So we're looking, for, we're looking for spades or queen 10. Would be a nice little draw there. We see queen yeah, we jack. See Hank for worldwide. Hank we has see spades. Top two. Hank has a lot of outs. He's got the spades. He's got a jack. He's got overs. For a, yeah, he's got a gutter two. for a straight. He's yeah. Got, yeah, he's, he's too got, many outs. When you have too many outs, you should fold because they never come in. <laughs> Rick and the bet is two pair. Rick playing very aggressive tonight. World's Wide has the better open ender. As a king would give him the, uh, well, it would give him back up to a better straight. He calls, we're going to go three ways. Rick, Hank, and World's Wide going to the turn. And there's the king. So there now the straight the is on there. So they have two players with a straight. No, we have one player with the straight. Worldwide with queen 10, and he does have the draw to the better straight. And he has the better two pair. That's right, the, the too many outs. Like, they have actually improved yeah. him a bit. And Worldwide's going to raise this. We're going to see a raise here for sure, especially with Hank just limping, just calling this. Yep, and and is. he's going to just put the remaining chips in, $386. Rick this is where that play down. showing that hand earlier might get him paid a little bit, but I doubt it. And Rick in, in third place He has here. middle two pair, and the obvious open ender just got there, and you could just be super duper dead. And he doesn't have speed. So. <laughs> this is where you mash the fold button. Yeah, he has no redraws. Like you're trying to hit a jack or a nine and hope somebody doesn't have a bigger boat. That's what you're trying to do here. Three fold. And you're going to fold, which you should. Back over to Hank. He uh, he does have King Jack. Yeah, his uh, SPR spades. is less than one here. He could, I mean. This is another spot where you probably just end up side calling. Like you do have, so like you have a third of the equity, right? And you're putting a 300 to a pot that's going to be 1100. That's you why I have a price to get there. That's the yeah, thing. but that's why I don't like his call, right? With a, pl a player behind him, he is gonna call. All right, we're gonna run it twice. Gonna go twice. Twice is nice. So he's really dead. He's really dead to keep. Okay, run it twice. Can he get it straight? No. The uh, the eight's not gonna help him. But the eight of spades will help him though. The uh, wow, the eight wow, eight of spades. Now, Worldwide is, is obviously visibly upset, but I, I think when you're talking about variance, I think you want that call over your, over your lifetime playing poker. It's so, so yeah, people are going to suck out a little bit, but you're going to want that call for, for the most part. So it's okay. It's okay. Just uh, just say nice hand. <laughs> you get aces versus kings. Sometimes the kings are going to get there, but that doesn't mean you don't want the kings to call. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, 
gonna chop it up. Are you gonna play afterwards? We'll see. Maybe a little bit. We'll see if I'm hungry. <laughs> and see if I wanna catch up on my sleep at all. Oh, I got to sleep last night. We'll see how I do. Maybe. One, two, please. Yeah, the game's going to keep playing like this. I'll play a bit. The uh, players do have the option to keep playing after the stream finishes, and uh, sometimes they do that. Like you'll see some turnover usually. I see a couple players get up and leave. Yeah. Now I've noticed that players who come in from out of town always leave after the stream. Now you came all the way to Texas and, and just played four hours. <laughs> you saw how great Texas poker is, and you're just going to play four hours. In all fairness, some of them played before the show. <laughs> they always do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I forgive you if you played before the show, but I mean, I've, there have been a few times where I've gotten unstuck after the show. You see Rick with a hand with an HP, which this were eight or better. Yeah, and this is one of those hands I may not even play. Yeah, high, at PLO high, I don't play that hand. I mean, I guess you could just, even if you flop a flush, it usually is not going to be good by the river. So it's just, it's a, it's a tough one to play, especially out of position. He was and under the gun. you don't want to get raised. JR flatting with the kings. These are some raggedy kings, though. I'll give him that. One suit, not a lot of coordination. So we see kings, jacks, nines, and a suited ace. Four ways to the flat. 9975 gets a pretty sweet flop here. He's got the that really open is. ender. So does, I mean, Worldwide also has a gutter Six here. Nine check. But his nines are, are check in Hank's hand. hand. <laughs> I thought the that was a nine. A pair. One, two, few pips. So uh, kings and eights for Jay are the best check. hands at the moment. Check. The one thing I do know about PLO is if players are checking multi way, they typically don't have a good hand. <laughs> You're never checking. You're always trying to build a pot when you have a really nutted hand here. Or they've got like a fairly nutted hand. Or they no got the reverse. nutted hand like quads. But still. And there's another 10. So kings and 10s going to be the winner at showdown. If it gets that far worldwide, going to try and keep us from getting the showdown. Makes it 15 saying, hey, I have trips now. So I bet 10% pot. I bet we definitely, it's still going to work. Kings get out of there. For 15 and with Jacks, uh, I would Jacks call. Jacks the best hand now. Yeah, I'm not folding to a $15 bet there. That's just me. Well, I'm not folding to him for a $15 bet. I just, yeah. I thought I heard Worldwide say, oh, I thought I had this hand. People are having a hard time remembering their hands tonight. Yeah, we did. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I mean, I can't remember after I see the board. I can't remember what the board was, right? I look at the graphics and I forget. You had a set of queens. You had the two pairs. All right, we got the straddle. is on. Again, uh, this is one, two, bringing in for five. So if you're going to straddle, it has to be $10 here. Middle everyone remembers, but TOT. Uh, live 10. I'd prefer Hank just to fold that under the gun there. He's almost, gonna, almost certainly, almost certainly going to get raised, right? So. Well, it's That's true, but still. And the raises haven't been big, but it's not a good hand. <laughs> it's not. You'd have to you have to flop very hey, something look, very specific. Hey, look, JR Min clicked it. King 9 3 3. And why not? And we're going to go five ways here. Looks like Kenny's just disgusted with his hand. He makes a disgusting call. <laughs> Kenny does always look upset, though. Five players. Five Okay, so now we have Wayne with an open ender here and a pair. Backdoor flush. Open ender, and then uh, Kenny has eights and fives. Got the and diamonds, diamonds, too. Well, and let's now see. that nine is going to improve. Wayne's got two pair. Uh, Kenny with the non nut. No, no, he doesn't have a straight. What do I know? No. I'm what? an idiot. Yeah, Kenny's got. We checked through. 
Got Jack the of flush diamonds, now. and uh, that's a diamond flush for Kenny. I feel like when Kenny bets here, or when Kenny bets anytime, he always has it. <laughs> He's a very strong player, and he really plays really disciplined. So sometimes it can be hard for him to get value. In trouble, leading the way. Uh, Six hundred eight dollars. I thought by now there'd be a bigger stacks than this, or because typically PLOs. The money flies around a lot more. Than With all this lifting, like it's like we're afraid to play bigger pots for you. Here's the thing: so, in a pot limit game, like if you want to get those giant river bets, you got to start earlier. You got to start betting your net draws. Checking. We're going to yeah. get to the river. There's only 50 bucks in the middle, and like, how do you get from 50 bucks to a thousand bucks? That's a lot harder to do here than hold them sometimes. Worldwide is going to speculate with his four. <laughs> he's got all suits represented here in his hand. Wayne has a hand and he's limping. He's got aces, he's got a suit, and he's limping. Yeah, that could get him in trouble here if he doesn't. Family thin pot. Out, King 7 4. Tio's got a king, which we know is not as good as aces. Kings and fours for Kenny. Kenny's out flop the aces. Makes it $20. Five fold, six fold, eight fold, nine fold. One fold. Bunch of folds over to Wayne. Two fold. All right, Tio is going to call here. He's got a top pair, back door. And Wayne's got a gutter to go with his yeah. aces, by the way. That would be pretty nice. Three players. And Kenny's going to fill up here. Basically bottom boat, though. Four's full of kings. Check, check. He checked through. I like, I like uh, got Kenny's a club. check. No, no club. Like, you'd love for the third club to come now, like when you have the boat. Kenny going to offer some value. Uh, Wayne could call here. He has aces up. Like he does beat King Ten, he beats King Seven. Probably not as sensible enough to care though. He is going to make a call. I think if it was another player, he would have called. Could have called anyway. Yeah. He's going to show the call. I don't understand the the need to show. <laughs> Just gives everybody else information. Like I tend to do it pretty sparingly. I do it if it's like quads, right? Yeah. I mean, like, or like if we're in a fun game, which, by the way, if you are dealt four cards of the same kind in your hand, so you're dealt quads in your hand, here at TCH mm -hmm. Austin, you know what you get? You get paid. Bucks. Yeah. Hold and hold, and then uh, that quads in your hand promo, PLO, PLO bomb pots. Texas and we have a regular Hold'em quads promo too, right? That's right. Quads of the day, uh, quad threes. I don't know what the jackpot is today. Also, uh, speaking of jackpots, we got the bad beat jackpot going. The uh, buzzer beater bad beat. Quad threes or better beaten by a straight flush or better gets you a share of $39,000. If you checked in at a TCH location, any of our five locations, you'll get $100. I got that once. I got that one time, $100. Not the, not the, not the yeah, we haven't hit it in Austin yet. Real Grands um, hit it twice. No, they hit it, yeah, they hit it somewhere else, and then we yeah. got we got the 100 bucks. Uh, hey, if you're yeah. here, if you're checked in, you got the 100 bucks. TexasCardHouse.com for all the rules there. Got to play both whole cards in both hands, among other rules. Three call, four call. Frank, that would be good to see you in the chat. Ooh, Hank with... Uh, He's got these double suited here with the queens. That's some playability there. I might, I might play that hand, especially yeah, when he yeah, flops this. Flop but pretty jack, good. And jack 10, though. Nobody with jack 10. 
You're going to be afraid of the Jack-10. Hank has got to bet that. Hank has spades that's that's to go with the Queens, but they're not Wayne, Wayne has the nut draw here. Wayne was not spades. Hank checked his set. It's a little uh, passive. White has top and bottom. A lot of players with something here. This is chaos. I would love to see a nine. Tio Kwosi just has a gut shot, and he has a bunch of red cards. Hank just calls. Okay. But it's for $15, though. I mean, you could and consider raising with your set. I would definitely. Would bet. Oh, gonna, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no! This is going to be a bloodbath. Hank with queens full of kings, but worldwide with kings full of nines and a super loose image. Hank going to lead out for $50. And he just Mr. calls. Worldwide's ears. He's going to flat. He's got top boat. He should have built that pot up more. It's going to be hard to get to the... Well, I think the 200 in the middle all in here. we go. We'll see how big Hank goes here with his boat on his harmless seven river. Worldwide now has two boats. Hank, Hank checks, checks it, over. it Oh. Is, I hope he's not going to check raise for his sake. I guess. What the Why? hell did I just see? He checks back second boat? I think maybe Worldwide said you have king queen, but he blocks that. That doesn't make any sense. I. What just happened? Somebody, somebody in chat explain this to me. What just happened? You have second boat and you have third boat and you check back. Somebody, please. I, Especially from an aggressive player like Worldwide. And Hank is saying, thank you for not betting because I would have called anything. If I could get, if I knew how to get the nip cam up, I would, I would be just circulating into the camera right now. We need some grouses. I'm the New York nit, and I'm blasting it there with the second nuts and with the third nuts. I have all the nuts except the actual nuts. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> that was, um, I mean that. If you've got I it, just you got need to move on. I just if you've got to it, God bless you. He only loses the one hand. That's the king queen. And especially when he checks, when Hank checks like that, he's, he's never checking King air. Queen. He, but this could also become exploitable, though. You're blasting your socks off with total air, but you have the you have the nuts like. Okay, I guess I check. Anyway, hi Ragnar, how are you? Thanks for hopping in here. We're just uh, Worldwide's been so aggressive all night. <laughs> I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. He's so aggressive all night, and then. Back. Well, I right. woke up and I chose violence. <laughs> I, the metaphorical kind. Another six-way limp spot. That pot should have been stacked. Uh, Hank has a pair and he's got an open ender. And what are the other big numbers here? Do we have clubs and he's out got there? Bottom two. No clubs. Okay. How do we not have clubs? Everybody has a club, but yeah. <laughs> we do have Tio with the. Uh, There's another five. Kenny fills up here. He's got a hammer lock on this with bottom boat. Think he'll check it back? I would raise Tio's bet here. Yeah, Tio's, Tio's drawing to an eight. Or 30. Because 35's heavy, only 30 in the middle. <laughs> Because we're limping and we're checking in, we're checking in, we're limping. Four calls, five calls, and he's just going to call. He does lose to a lot of other hands right now. Pocket tens, pocket sevens. But I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it is just bottom five. boat. Like, yeah. I don't love bottom boat. Two check. And uh, Tio. Well, he's going to go for value now. You're going to check in. Oh, feel right back there. Don't show. Don't show. <laughs> there we go. Kill the cards. Kill the cards. Go to the small pot. Way no good. So uh, I still can't believe he didn't. Well, any value? I don't care. <laughs> I. That was. Uh, there's a lot of things. You dream for that. You dream for that turn card, right? Like, and when you're bluffing, you're, you're just bluffing left and right. This is when we go for lighter value. This is why you bluff. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, like that, like that uh, blast off earlier tonight, like that should have gotten him paid. 
Because I look at it and say, you're full of crap again. I call. Oh, you're not full of crap. Oops. That would have been, yeah. I, Good hand, sir. Double suited aces for T.O. Pot. This is up. Yeah, this is definitely a. And he does. He, he's going to pot this up. I heard it with a question. Not although, full putty, it 30. That's not full putty. Uh, although Wayne does That's have three to Broadway here, but I'm not. I don't like Wayne's hand at all. I'd like to have a bigger suit. Or Two suits would be good too. Like that three dangler is kind of dangly. Like Jr. Again, he's got. Now he's sort of got a similar hand to Wayne. Like I wish I didn't have that dangler there. For the, uh, the three of clubs, the six of diamonds. We're gonna go three ways here. Top set for Tio. No sweat there. Nine check. One check. You're gonna have a hard time getting paid though. Neither of his opponents having even a pair. Yeah, this is. Why well, don't want to draw? This might this be one of those cases where you could have just checked it over. Don't show. He's going to show, hey, I got it. <laughs> he, had a, he had a set and he had a pair. Bomb pot. Ragnar knows what's up. I'm in knit and I'm pulling out nittiness. Yeah, that's, you know, that's the thing. Like, we're having some fun here. <laughs> if you're watching this stream, if you played on the stream, don't take it personally. Like, I'm not trying to heap insults at you. And, uh, I've, uh, I've definitely done some su some suspicious oh, things as far as uh, decision-making on the stream as well. Someone called me in it the other day. Welcome <laughs> to the club. <laughs> That's the bomb pot going here. We do have one seat open right now. We had a player felted kind of early on. It's four card here. The system won't allow for five card. Looks like Rick's going to sit this one out. Hey, you don't have to play the bomb pots. Yeah, maybe he just got up and missed it. I, I have a hard time believing he would miss the bomb pots. <laughs> that does happen, too. Imagine if we ever did a bomb pot show. I would play that one. I wonder how long that would last before the game sure. dies. Well, we do run bomb pot tables here yeah, almost every day, so and, they, and they're always full. Um, so people, yeah. we have one out there right now, I believe. And people, people love their bomb pots, right? So that would be yeah, fun. Whatever game you can think of, like if there's enough players, like we'll run it here. Tia with the uh, not diamonds and an ace on both boards makes it 25. Uh, Kenny with some draws makes the call worldwide. Queens and eights on the bottom, and uh, a wheel on the top. Yeah, he's looking really good now. He picks up some additional equity with the flush draw on the bottom. Nine showing up, so club draw for a worldwide on the bottom. And if worldwide gets Kenny's his club draw. Yeah, I was about to say, he's got four clubs. He, it's hard to put someone else on clubs. And but. Uh, yeah, so Kenny does have, uh, have, have the nut straight on the bottom. It's got that gut shot to go with it on the top as well. Yeah. But we can see a lot of queens out. <laughs> Worldwide with his wheel is going to go bets, ahead and put the raise in. He's feeling like he's got a very scoopable hands, and I don't blame him. He's got nuts on top, and he's got too many outs on the bottom. He's got two Plus pair he's got, he's got two, two pair in clubs, yeah. Second nut clubs. Uh, Tio sitting here with aces up on both boards. Oh, wow, he's going to call. He's just got aces up on both boards, and he's got nut diamonds on top. And Kenny has the nuts on the bottom, too, and he's and he's uh, he's got a jack, so he's not really looking at the top. The yeah, he doesn't like the top. So this the could bottom. be a fold here. It's a oh, he no, he does not fold. In. He does have Broadway. And, uh, not Broadway. He has the nut straight, and he does have That's right, uh, I missed he has that. got the nut clubs. But he does have a one-way hand. You're putting your stack in. 
to try and win half because there's basically no scenario where you're going to win the top. No realistic scenario where you're going to win the top. He does have a cut shot on the top. Like a queen that's not a diamond could show up and he could win the top. That would be the case queen. Yeah. Throwing pretty thin here on the top at least. Over to Tio, another $250. And to reiterate, he has a draw on one side. He's got a pair and a draw on one side. And he has He's got two, two pair on pair the other on. side. So he has three outs to a boat on the bottom. He's got two pair on both, too. Yeah, aces and jacks, that's right. Yeah. So he's got three outs on both boards to fill up. And he does have diamonds. I think he has to call now. It's only 249 to win he's 2000 <laughs> 2000 if he scoops. Yeah, I mean, he could He could definitely. This, is, this definitely is definitely a call here. He knows he's behind for sure, 100%. Yeah, like he's got like almost no chance to scoop is the, excuse me, is the problem. Because his out... And he's like he's out sharing both his outs. Like, yeah. yeah, there's only one ace left in the deck. So he's looking for, he's very specific, right? He's looking for. Yeah. Uh, like he's looking for a diamond, and he's looking for. Ace or a nine, yeah. yeah. Ace or the nine. Like this is. He's got a call. This feels like a card funeral. I mean, he could so get lucky and, and chop this. As you can see, the equity, it's 29%, so that's really not bad. Especially, yeah, he's kind of like, yeah. okay, well, I came this far. Once or twice. I mean, I've got two straight flush three draws. You have two ten of it, Aaron. Jack, straight, straight. Alt wide. Showing a good series. Got the wheel. And those aren't even the best clubs. Queen. He's got diamond. Yeah, world wide. By the way, four clubs in your hand, like that's not a great hand to heal. Well, but it was good enough here. Well, it also and gives him more also confidence. Problematic. He is yeah. blocking his draw is the problem. Oh, he's blocking his draw, and he's going to also see that Kenny has a better club draw on the bottom. This is a little bit more precarious. I, I, I can understand feeling like you can scoop with, with these runners. I probably put the money in. Like, I just don't feel as good about the club draw because I have so many clubs. Here we go. Four of diamonds, so Tio gets there for half the pot. And Kenny gets there. The three of clubs on the bottom is going to give Kenny. And Worldwide gets scooped here. He's getting scooped. Tio, Kenny going to chop it up here. Worldwide was saying, I have the claws. <laughs> Did you see that? No, no. Wow. Tio. Wow. Big pot. Our here. biggest pot of the night. It is. And it's always pots. a bomb pot, right? Yeah, these bomb pots will make a break at night. I mean, Saturday night I was playing once oh, oh. here. By far the biggest pot I played was a bomb pot. And I scooped like $1,600 when I had nothing on the river. I played that after the, when I, I talked about, what was it called? Oklahoma? Oklahoma. I, I played it last week. Um, and I had, so I had jacks in one hand, the hold'em hand, and I had a, a pocket nine. I can't remember the other two cards. And the flop was, the flop was jack nine nine. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> nut, nut. Yeah, and, and um, I check it, and someone, yeah, and everybody started bombing away on the turn. Okay, I guess I call. Yeah, okay. Please, please yeah. the next stream. Exactly how, you know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's Any it's nice when there's, like, literally nothing right here. Y'all two be chopping. Yeah, there's, like, 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 it was, uh, yeah, like that bomb pot. So, like, what happened was I had... That flush on one board, and then the other board I had uh, like I had a, I had nuts straight, and I, I ended up with a bigger straight. Like, uh, I so on the board where I turned the flush, I I turned the flush. I also turned top set. <laughs> So it's like, okay, let's go. Like, there's like literally, uh, literally no card I'm afraid of on this board now because 
You like, I have the best backup. You have the best hand, plus you have a JV, redraw for the boat. Okay, so JV wants to uh, get a seat at the live table. If you're around, come here. We've got a seat open as far as I know. We now I have two Why seats. Here at Texas Card House Austin and have a seat. Join in the game if any of you are interested in appearing on a future show. Uh, in the video description, there is a link to the form to fill out if you'd like to play on the show. You can even call the club. If you you can also out. call uh, Texas Card House Austin. You can find that contact info at texascardhouse.com. And uh, we'd be happy to have you here. Uh-oh, I need stack. I like it. Thank you. I'm winning. Yeah, so if you're around, seat open as far as we know. We are walking 15 minutes in the past. That is true, but we've had that seat seven open for a while yeah. now. So. I wouldn't be surprised if it's open. Yeah, if it's 800 more, it's hard to call. They get to five players. I'm not even myself going to have to go out there and play. Yeah, I might have to pull this game out of the muck. Yeah. I might have to seek revenge for... Uh, Nice. Yeah, JV, this is not that room. And I'm only modding that because we don't mention other clubs in the chat. But this is Texas Card House, as the banner says, in uh, Austin, Texas. 23 in Anderson Mill. TCHY. Uh, no problem, JV. This is uh, yeah, this is Texas Card House, Boston. Shout outs to our friends in Dallas, though. I've been up there. Dallas is a great room. I've played a few of those streams. I made one appearance on a Dallas show. I saw that. That was a fun one. We have kings and we have jacks, and we got a bunch of stuff with uh, some Broadway cards for TO. And now we have another king for trouble, which is the last. King we've always we've seen a lot of top sets here with non-connecting boards. So he's yeah. got to feel pretty comfortable about this. And he's getting someone to bet into him. I wonder if he's going to choose to raise or smooth call this. With that many players, though, I would definitely put in for a raise here. Now he's looking concerned. Okay, I'll just raise. <laughs> oh, he just called. Oh, you know, that's 225. That's 225. Okay, he raised. I'm that's colorblind. I can't see. And you guys have noticed we have new chips now. Yes, these They're Pretty nice impressive. Chips. Pretty nice. They feel good. They don't feel quite as heavy as the old ones. I've only played once since I, since the new chips. Yeah, so over to Rick, who Rick is has almost drawing dead here. You he have has to run a runner, runner. You have butt kiss. Uh, you have nothing, and he folds. I probably don't hit the raise button there. I mean, depending how many, like, depending how many employees cards? are behind you, employees, sorry, <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many players are behind you. There were still two left to act, I believe. I don't mind the race, but he made it full pot there, so. And, and here's the thing, though. Like, what's calling you if you raise? You block top pair. Well, I think, I think maybe a straight draw, straight draw might do it. And we have, oh, Worldwide is coming back in. He's looking for a little revenge. Yeah, it's like. It's just, there's not a lot that can call a raise. It's probably one of those spots where you just have to say, if he gets there, he gets there. Well, if Rick is betting into him, <laughs> probably wants to build the pot now and not make the mistake they did a little earlier. <laughs> like if Rick had a, his own set, like a set of fours, I could see Rick calling that. <coughs> Excuse me. Tio, after his sucked out earlier, is going to limp in. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey. It's nice to see Hank on the stream. I haven't seen him on the stream before. I've seen him in the 1-2 the tables a lot. Yeah. So nobody knows. Oh, it's nice to get some new faces around here. Uh, what'd you come back in for? Trouble, who's gotten some really good hands in really good spots here, now has the button. He has a suited king. He may like to raise this up. He's got that kind of intention going. This is his first hand back, yeah. I thought y'all saw it. 
I'm yeah, sure. we haven't gone So what happened yet. was, I think production didn't get him in, oh, okay. and they're sorting that out now. Oh, I was wondering, he's like really thinking about it. Yeah, so they're just pressing some buttons right now. Shout out to our production team. Who is that? William, who's in our production team? Uh, Mel? Carolina Panthers! Yeah. All right, get to do it. Huh? All right. Uh, so it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, you got the first pick in the draft, so... And I'm just talking to our producer here who happens to be a Carolina Panther fan, I believe. No prepping the Panthers and... Renza, okay. So we have... We don't have any Cowboy fans in here. We have Panthers, Eagles, and Broncos. That's odd. Okay. Well, I didn't say that for you. Uh, most of our listeners are. <laughs> yeah, so, so we can hear, you guys can hear one half of the conversation. There's just some friendly uh, banter. Yeah. And uh, we're heading towards another family pot or something close enough to It does to a look like pot. it. And by the way, my team was in the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> Even though we lost. <laughs> hey, the last time the Panthers were in the Super Bowl, my team beat the Panthers. They've never won the Super Bowl. Uh, is that the last time they were in the Super Bowl? Oh, I was about to say. Broncos, Super Bowl 50. I was there. I was there when uh, Is that Newton Jake DeLome? Was he Cam the quarterback? Cam Newton didn't go for the fumble. I thought that was... Oh, it was Cam Newton? That was Jake. Oh, I thought it was Jake. That was the one good year in Cam Newton's career. Steve Smith, right? was his wide receiver. Yeah. Um, and uh, hey, yeah, Lamar Cam. Jackson is possibly the second coming of Cam Smith, but that's a rant for another moment. We have a bet and a raise here. Uh, Trouble got with two uh, pair. top two. Worldwide. He's got the up and down. Probably a little bit steamy. He's got the open ender, and he's got a pair of nines. I don't mind him calling here. Um, he'll get paid if he hits, for sure, he thinks. And he does. There it is. The <laughs> Deuce Worldwide has turned himself the uh, the nut straight, but tr and he's now going to pot it for 470. Treble has picked up a lousy hard draw, and that's not enough for him. He is going to fold. Facing the lead. Well, he's going to pick up 280 bucks. It's always a nice, nice little profit there. And now, there you go, Worldwide. That smile is back. Perfect. He's got the best smile. Um, really good for the game. Plays a lot of hands, and that jacket looks really nice too. <laughs> and Hank is just being very stoic. I hope you're all having as much fun as we are here at uh, Texas Card House Austin. William Wiley, New York Mid, Dante alongside me this evening. I know we're going to see Aaron. This isn't like this. So one, two, five, <laughs> PLO <laughs> from Austin. So much fun. Yeah, I'm here. Who do we have in the box? But we have we have Russell in the box. That's right, one of my favorite favorite dealers here. They have great dealers here. So many great dealers. So funny too. So funny. No car between five and eight. That's not an easy job. Three bets. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like <laughs> try to figure out try to figure out those bomb pots or. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like 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 dealing is hard enough when you don't have that. Like I could never be a dealer. When someone says pot and they immediately know what it is, I'm like, how? Yeah. <laughs> and they know what they're doing here. One fold. And you don't appreciate how great they are until you go some other place or like some series full of tents where uh, it's a world of difference. And we love our dealers here. Okay, we do not. We do see worldwide with clubs in a pair here, but he's not. He's got the third nut draw. Yeah, he's got so many outs that he has more yeah. equity than the pair of aces. Rick's got a gutter for 15 bucks. He may want to call this just to hit a. Hit a king, but I doubt it. Well, he needs a <laughs> king that's not a club. Yeah, so that's, that leaves him with two outs. And he's got a bad pair. He's got bottom pair. Just not that. Before you catch Probably shouldn't have been in there in the first place. But, <laughs> but that would be boring. Uh, I think a Hank is going to call. He's got queen nine eight five. He's got a million spades. And now JR has three aces, which is more than a pair of aces. And uh, Worldwide's equity is going to shrink with his too many outs. Another $15 bet, which is going to get punished. And JR going to take it down. Watch that. Oh, 
Looks like Kenny wants to beef up his game a little bit. I haven't seen a lot of straddling. I think this is only our third straddle we've seen tonight. Yeah, we're not, we've only seen it a couple of times. Yeah. I think it was from that end of the table, too. The, uh, yeah, Rick, Rick and Kenny. Hank with the pair, and he's got five, six suited. Pair, pair, JR, nice hand. Oh, I thought he was double suited. He is not. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got the, the yeah, that's. I like it a lot better if the ace was one of the clubs. We have a lot of people who are just playing on the floor. The problem is, like you see, well, I priced in, like because there's that. Really, here's the problem. When am I gonna? When am I gonna make a hand? And play a big pot and actually have the winner. Two now oh. we have top two versus middle versus set. Versus set, here. yeah. This could be this could be fun. Anybody have clubs? Jr. has clubs. Yeah, King High clubs. <laughs> that might be good enough for him. He's got backdoor <laughs> straight two. On that. He's got two backdoor straight. It's actually the queen of spades. Who is spades? Uh, I see some dry ones. I don't see any actual spades. 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 So that means a spade is definitely coming on the turn. <laughs> they are with the Broadway wrap here. <laughs> these sizes on the flop, these bet sizes are so small. Feels like blocker bets all over the place. Four players. A ten would be brutal. The deuce is going to pair, and, that's, and that's a boat. for Hank. This just got a lot more boring, except that Worldwide has a boat, too. Deuce is full of 10s. Oh, my worldwide. gosh. So, Worldwide. Queens. He got Queens and Deuces. Ninefold, twofold. True. That's a better boat. Yeah, it's a be it doesn't matter. It's the same hand, basically. Worldwide just going to flat, perhaps. And he blocks size. the better. He blocks the queen, so. King on the end. Now it's Deuces full of Kings. Worldwide has three boats. Oh, he got real. Oh, he's going to go slow. And he's going to get re-rate. Oh, he doesn't get re-rate. He just flats. These two have so much respect for each other. Tens full of deuces. Tens full of deuces versus deuces full of tens, queens, and kings. <laughs> that feels like that should be that's four boats. That's more than one. I can't believe there wasn't. These guys just don't want to. I mean, I give Worldwide credit. He did raise. Yeah. <laughs> but still. Not enough to ever actually elicit a fold. Hey, man. Come on. Yeah, on a Super Bowl, a yacht. It's like Fleet Week. It's Fleet just, Week. It's like it's like an Armada. That should that should be that should be a hand an Armada. Armada. <laughs> what do you do there? What do you do? There? I hit every card in my hand. I don't understand why he raised there when before when he yeah. had the second nuts I'm, he just calls. <laughs> yeah, I'm. That's the thing. You call second nuts, but you raise like. Boat. And like I'm hearing. I'm hearing bits of his reign. I, I also kind of understand what he's saying. He's using all of his cards. Like, he's actually blocking the other boats pretty hard, which is what makes it all the more disgusting. That's the thing. Like, I like I can understand. Like, I, if you raise what's calling you is the question. That's the, like, yes, you're blocking a the naked, other boats. A naked deuce. That's true. Like, you're blocking the other boats, but... What's actually calling you with the raise? Like if you're raising, you're either getting a better hand to call, a better hand to fold, or worse hand to call. Or when I raise, I get a better hand to call because you know <laughs> that's why I'm in here in the booth. Have I mentioned I haven't had a lot of sleep lately? <laughs> King, King Who's got clubs? Wayne's got a baby draw there. No one else with a club, though. Oh, Wayne has. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a couple of gut shots. Everyone's kind of cool. Pretty uninspiring here. I feel like none of those hands should be in there. Nine's going to pair. Nobody's got a nine. Things looking up for Kenny. Two bet, 75. It's Tio doing the betting now. With air. I love that. 
Yeah, he's on the button, right? So. And he's going to show it. He's got the worst hand. He's going to show it. He is like trash, and he's going to show it. I love it. That's good. Oh, he just took it. He didn't even ask. And I don't know. This is the closest you're going to get to the top of the stage. I don't drink as well. <laughs> I've never drank. Neither have I. I always say I don't need a drink to have a good time. <laughs> I always say I'm dumb enough without alcohol. <laughs> no, that's not true. I, I, I mean, when I go on vacation, I may have like a Mai Tai. I know. I want to do that. I don't even want to smell it. Well, I like those kind of fruity drinks. <laughs> Start making chase all of them. I like that. That is a premium holding for trouble. He's got a couple of those tonight. With a king and a suit. And he's actually going to pot it. Thank you. $35 full pot. Oh, he's Wayne's got a nice hand. And he's a suit. suit. He's got a suit. Uh, his, his suit is covered. Yeah, he's got, yeah. I, I don't like the queen high suit as much as the better suit. And we're calling an under the gun opener in a game where everybody's limping. Uh, you have an under the gun raise. Kenny rightfully getting out of there. Hank rightfully getting out of there. Has his worldwide. Rick's going to play. He's not afraid of any any four cards. As you get more multi-way, you want to prefer hands that can make the nuts. I thought I saw a king right in the window. That's There not, was a king in the window. There was a king uh, in the Treble window. Treble and Dwayne both have a two king. Two pair. Uh, Treble has kings and five. They both have two pair. Uh, Wayne has the kings and fives. Uh, Trouble though, has kings the, uh, and fives. Well, he has aces, though. He has some backup. Yeah, if a four comes, he could really. And he has the, uh, One call. and he also has the uh, backdoor clubs. Trouble makes it 55. Wayne calls. They both have king five, and this is almost a free roll for Trouble. The only thing he's fading is a queen. That's not a queen. The board did get connected more here, and I could see him just checking. Check, check. He does. The six, Trouble's going to, well, no, he's no kings and sixes. <laughs> I was about to say, is there a better two pair out there? Uh, no, kings, no, 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 Trouble did get there. Kings and sixes with an ace. Yeah, yeah. No, no aces and sixes. Yeah, that's You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Aces and sixes. Huh. $55 gets called. We have three pair versus three pair. Actually, three pair versus four pair. Four pair beats three pair. Most of the time. You all know what I meant. <laughs> he got there, and then I second-guessed myself because of those damn graphics. It's hard to call P.O.L. <laughs> yeah, they... Uh, yeah, they had kings and fives, and then the six paired, and they had kings and kings and sixes. But then the aces were aces and sixes, and aces and sixes are better than kings and sixes and fives and whatever else it was. Run it three times at all three flushes. We have two more hours of this, by the way. Hit that like button. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Like, hit subscribe. Eightfold. You want to make a contribution to this program? There's the super chat button as well if you're on YouTube. Three fold. Three call. Press the tower. Follow the instructions. We even give you some of those uh, TCHY points if you do that. Chat or super chat. Okay. Uh, got a lot of great people working on this show, and it all goes to uh, all those working on the show. Back to the poker, JR flopping three school of kings. By far the best hands here. Rick with a three that cannot make a better boat. Rick betting his trips, he's betting $20. See how JR elects to play this. Does just flat. Heads up. Boat versus trips. There's an eight, which uh, does not improve Rick. 
Lucky for him. Worth now throwing dead. Rick going to incinerate <laughs> another $60. Raise 150. JR now going to go for the raise. He's going to make it 150. Rick look just trips and bottom. It's like you're making bottom boat if you get there. He is going to call though. And. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't fill here or he'll probably get stacked. And the eight on the river might give us pause, and it is going to be check, check. Freeze, full of kings. We'll take it down for JR. The blocked boat is going to hold. Yeah, I'm with you, Alan. Give him one more street to, to get there. I did uh, see Worldwide in the hallway, and I said, I can't believe you folded that. He goes, but it was Hank. <laughs> okay. okay. So there's the, your answer. The game interview. There you go. It was Hank. <laughs> but you're you. I know. <laughs> He's, he's a good enough player to know who his customer is. Even if Hank's more on the tighter side, Hank's never, never checking King Queen there. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to see if he's going to walk in, but I didn't see him. Like, if I have an opponent who's not in the business of folding third nuts, I'm going to blast him. Like, like second nuts or like whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Second nuts or yeah, whatever it was. You know what I mean. Queens versus Kings. Yeah. Kings versus... Uh, yeah. Kings like full of nines, yeah. The Queens full versus Kings full. Yeah. We're on a bomb pot. That's a boring flop. <laughs> That's a slightly less boring flop. Uh, <laughs> we're just looking for flush draws here. Hard to draw on the bottom. Uh, I see a couple of vet shots out there, yeah. <laughs> Same for JR. Jr's got a little bit more on the bottom. Uh, he's got the open ends around the bottom. Rick makes it 60. He has a couple of straight draws. He's got the uh, seven high heart draw. Hell of a guy, this guy. Hell of a guy. JR wants to try and make a straight. We're going to go heads up to the turns. One ball. Both players with a lot of equity on one side, but not a nutted hands by any means. That didn't help anybody. Yeah. Yeah, those turns came the wrong way. Six and a ten, and uh, this is Rick gonna is going to quarter JR. Oh, that's right, huh? It's going to be a quarter. The uh, sevens will uh, win on the bottom here. And then on the top, no, it's a, it's a chop. No, right? That's a quarter. I'm trying to see where the quarter is. Did they both make a? No, they both made a straight. They both have seven five on the top. Oh. So they're going to quarter. So Rick's going to quarter Jr. here on this uh, Beck Hall River. They both have 7-5 on the top. That was such a hidden straight draw that it was just like a gut shot to a 6. And then a uh, pair of 7s will be good on the bottom. So, Rick will get half, and then they'll each get half of a half. Take your bet back, and Anyone paying attention to that college basketball game tonight? I can't say I've watched much of the tournament. I don't watch any basketball. I feel bad. Fair enough. <laughs> I feel, 
Like, uh, this year, though, like, there were, like, no ones, no twos in the Elite Eight. There's, like, no threes, like, even in the final four. There's I was no watching threes. Texas play for a while. I thought that was an exciting story. Um, but, the, but the university I went to is never good in basketball, so. Yeah. And neither is mine. Like, mine was in the America East for a long time, and now they're in the Colonial. I Raise your hands uh, if you've heard of either of those conferences. Colonial. You've heard of the Colonial. Mm -hmm. Good for you. <laughs> Not many people have heard of the Colonial. Have you ever heard of the ACC? I've heard of the ACC. I went to Florida State. So <laughs> there you go. But they weren't in the ACC when I went. Who said that? Yeah. They were independent, I believe, if you can remember that. Well, that's not a conference, so. It's not a conference. They were just, yeah. Too bad 15. Recall. Okay, so that's a pretty solid holding for Tio to just be flatting. Six call. Ace King 10 5 2 six Double call. suited. We haven't seen a lot of double suited tonight. I would, I would expect a. <sighs> that is not what he wanted. <laughs> well, I can certainly dust your holding. This is why we raise. Especially when somebody's already seven put some money in. Like, people can actually start folding, maybe. And seven ways here, and that's not the flop you want. Eight four deuce, who has hearts. I see nine high hearts. I see jack high hearts for Wayne. I see queen high hearts for Rick. Well, what also eight. has, he has a combo draw, too, so he's not going anywhere. Ace, queen, eight, five for Rick is showing us the most equity. He's got the queen high hearts, and he's got a pair of eights. It's Tio doing the betting though. Fifty. I mean, one street too late. <laughs> one street too late. <laughs> the nine six for worldwide is, uh, as you said, a combo draw. Yeah, and that's because uh, Tio's decisions are a little off. I think it's because of the Cowboys. Uh, maybe Cowboys jersey he's wearing. We got something. another <laughs> Tio speech maybe. <laughs> uh, two uh, shots for worldwide and the uh, inferior hearts. <laughs> Three players. Tio did call. We're going to go three ways. Nobody with the jack. Jack of gloves is 9-10. Uh, really? I don't see 9-10. Nobody improves yeah, there. No one. There's a 9-6. I suppose Worldwide picked up some additional equity, but he was already, yeah. That's not another straight draw. That's not another straight Yeah, he's already had that. Uh, we picked the one dud in the deck. The this deck might be like top pair of wins, huh? <laughs> 115 from Rick gets a call from Worldwide. Tio finally Worldwide gets out of there. Out of it. All right. Heads up to the river. Let's get a heart for chaos. And actually, Rick is ahead, right? And it's a heart. Hearts. It does pair the board, though. Oh, look how excited. It is not, is it, to note, it's not the nut. Heart. So over to Worldwide. He's got the nine high hearts on a paired four. Check. He's gonna check it back. Now Rick's gonna bet for sure. And now he's gonna ah. check it over. Now Rick checks. When has Worldwide ever slow played? And queen high on a paired board. So Rick's gonna check and he's gonna lament the fact that uh, he made his second best hand. But Ace nine six five is a recipe for second best hands. Yep. Hey, look, That's worldwide, okay. Rick was ahead the whole way. <laughs> yeah. If we're, like, you played a pan that wasn't great in a very multi-way spot, and you made a second best hands with that hand that wasn't great, then that's the danger with playing those hands. Yeah, don't like put yourself said, like, in those tough spots. But, I mean... Reverse and flight odds are a thing, right? I mean, yeah. Basically, what we're saying when we say that is, when am I going to make a good hand and play a big pot, and have it be the best hand. With that particular hand, not very often. If you make a flush and you get action, your flush is no good. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get a straight flush too. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds of that? Yeah, what are the odds? I mean, that's the reason why, right? You're just. I mean, but he's he's looking for fun. He's having fun. He, he is stuck some, so he's gonna try to get some of it back. So he's gonna play a lot of a lot of different types of hands. Although he just folded that one. I'm not, I'm not picking on, I'm not picking on worldwide. A lot of players in this game are guilty of that. <laughs> I would say all of them, except for like, a few, maybe. Like pretty much all this table is guilty of playing questionable holdings. I think, um, <clears throat> I think Trouble's playing pretty, pretty Trouble. snug, playing pretty good. Trouble has a one card for Doogie right now. <laughs> well, if I played with Doogie, I could follow that. Yeah, like four cards have one suit. That's, seven that's one card. That's, one card. that's <laughs> bad. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> All right, we have Queen Jack. So Rick's got top two. 
Hank with the overpair, so he's gonna need that. He's gonna need the board to pair. That's not a queen or jack. And that's all I see. Do I see anything else? Nope. I haven't seen any Nope. Uh, Hank's got a gut shot. Hank can make a ten. He also, well, never mind. Hank's out of the pot, which he should be. I was wondering why he was in there in the first place. Well, he had kings. Oh, was it Hank that had the kings? Had oh, kings. that was they were, else. they were terrible kings, but they were kings. Seems pretty good. And Rich skillfully <laughs> throws up his cards. <laughs> but the hand that was gooder. As, uh, as I mean, I probably, but I'm more, I'm a lot more tighter in field. I probably wouldn't even call with Rick's hand. But yeah, I'm, I'm not that's going anywhere near the pot, especially yeah. in early position. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm just the loud mouth in the back. I, I know Alan know. plays all those Five hands, but on. not me. <laughs> Alan says William and Mary is in the colonial. I believe that. That's something all your ideas are terrible. I forgot you were at the table. Absolutely. Yeah, like I couldn't actually, I don't follow closely enough in these days to tell you who's in the colonial, apart from Hofstra, screw Hofstra. Right, ten, ten to go. That other one guy was. <laughs> I, um, I, I I played soccer in Florida State many, many, of course, that was many years ago. So I got to learn. I got to travel around to all these different conferences and play. I actually didn't play a lot, but I got to, I got to, so I got familiar with almost every, every college. You know, my, my school had a terrible soccer team. Option does check. <laughs> 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 One player for Two. How many? Are we going multi-way again? Is that what this is? <laughs> Seems that way. We are doing a lot of limping. I think we're seven ways here. Seventy-five four, and we'll see check. who's got two what. Check. Uh, six eight. We're looking for six eight. We're looking for six eight. And he's got the bottom no, end of the no, open no. enter. This, this hand has been and then Hank has a hand that the graphics are partially cut enough, but it seems good. Like this might even be like a like a setter of flat straight or six eight. Uh, six, fold, jack nine, jack eight six. That's a flat straight for Hank. He's got the nuts, but he has basically no redraws. Wayne with the ten nine eight five. It's going to be two weeks. Tio's going to get out of there. Rick. <laughs> Can I also get out of there? Kenny with the King High Clubs. The and problem is he could, he could be just drawing dead here. He's, he could be going up against the A-side club. So, yeah, you don't mind a fold there. Especially Hank betting right there. Hank has shown he doesn't even bet his nut flush draws. He just calls. So when he leads out multi-way, 6-8 all day. <laughs> yeah. So all his cards are red, though. Like There's a lot that he's played in. <laughs> Thanks again to all of you watching. We're a little bit past the halfway point here. If there are any Hofstra fans or alumni out there who have uh, not switched the stream off, I do apologize. <laughs> as, uh, as a Stony Brook alum, I, uh, I don't like Hofstra. You don't like Hofstra? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there are there are a couple of schools that I that I absolutely can't I, sh I shouldn't say hate but can't stand. One of those is University of Florida, the Florida, Florida, Florida State, and University of Miami. <laughs> those are those are the big rivals, especially when I was in school. I do have similar feelings about Albany. But that's in New York. Another rival. Oh, that's true. Three, four, hearts. Wow, Hank. Open See what I mean? Runner. See, he's gonna, he's got a he, monster draw there, and he's gonna check it down. Now he hits he's his. Make the heart, not the heart that he wanted, though. He is ahead, though. He's the only one with. He has the only flush. And he's gonna bet that flush and. Red flags for everybody here. Also, even worse than the red flags, nobody has anything. So they all just fold. Like none of those hands yeah. actually had a choice, even if it wasn't Hank. Looks like we're going to be doing the full straddle here, as I've seen it now. A few times in a row. I always thought straddling would stop people from limping, but everybody's still limping. <laughs> everybody's still just cut, dead, 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 dead. I have a proposal. 
see how they feel about this. If this is how they're going to play, why bother with the with the? I mean, just like do a ten dollar single board bonfire. We could turn this into. That's a basically what we're doing. I said we should do a bonfire show. We're kind of doing that. It's called everybody limps. I have not seen. I have not seen a flop of less than five people in the last hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder why we've only done 37 hands in two hours. This is why nobody folds. So Hank now has got, um, well, he's going to call. That's, uh, that's all I know. That's all I know. going to call. Thank you, Trouble, for playing PLO strategy. <laughs> Somebody folded. Call the papers. I know. <laughs> So hey, somebody folded three queens, which is too many queens. Yes, six players. No, he didn't. He didn't fold. I was it's gonna say he pot. called. <laughs> Who's got a three? I don't see. Nobody's got a three. The trouble. Uh, I think he folded the three. Yeah, nobody Four who's bit. still in the pot has a three. Here we go. Stone cold bluff here for Kenny. Oh, he Five does have the best folds. hands. He has queens. Uh, he well, has Rick has an ace. Damn. <laughs> Rick, that's the wrong part. You can't, you can't bluff Rick. He's got. Yeah, Rick's gonna call. Yeah. I missed the ace. How did I miss the ace? Now Rick has a gutter. He needs a queen, which would give Kenny a set. But the club's got there. Yeah. Oh, it's such a nice bet too, right? How can, how can Kenny ever call this? The, the obvious draw got there with the flush. Yeah. Feels like an action killer. Yeah, if he needs a queen and a little more My queens, bluff or, he needs grass, <laughs> or he needs a three. I was 80% of the way to a quarter of a winner. And uh, he's going to show. Yeah, if yeah. only Kenny would have gotten the fourth queen in his hands, we'd be giving him $400 yeah. right now. I mean, he had to share it with us, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the rule. If you hit it on stream, you have to that's tip the it. New ha rule. Ha yep, half of your winnings have to go. And you got to tip your dealer. Tip your dealer. Well, they've been tipping the dealers nicely tonight, as far as I can see. Unfortunately, they are. Yeah. And if you hit your if you hit your jackpot, also tip the dealer. Don't forget. In that. any pocket pair, tip your dealer. <laughs> yeah. Tip the dealer. If you need the uh, right card to come, tip the dealer. Yeah. No guarantee that it's gonna, but you know, I mean, I've seen plenty of dealer bribes take place. I swear they're not paying me to say that. Have we had the same dealer the whole time in the box? Yeah, it feels yeah, like it's it. been like it's usually like two hours, two hours, and they used to do an hour in Switch, but they got two. It too much time. Two hours to keep the game moving a little bit more. We're probably getting close, if I had to guess. And dealing on the stream is much tougher than dealing. Yeah, you got to communicate with production. To, uh, they got they usually put their best dealers in there, but tonight they have Russell. So. I did not say that. <laughs> I didn't say that, Russell. <laughs> nice little jacks for Hank. Uh, Smashing this. Uh, right with the open ender. Five bet 20. Nice with the only two hands of real substance here. Hank going to go for the $20 bet with his flop vote. I think, I think Hank is going to draw it dead. Yeah, yeah, Hank's straight. image is pretty well defined tonight, so you, you call him at your own risk. Yeah, and uh, there's an ace. Does not improve Rick, which is probably to his benefit. Hank is going small again. 25. Well, he's trying to get that value. So I think it's going to work. Oh, my wife. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Yet. I didn't see it. Oh, she, she said, sounds like you and Lottie are having fun. <laughs> we are having fun. And uh, check, check. Hank's decided no more value. Which is interesting because the diamond did just get there. Like that's when you bet when the draw like you comes could, in. Yeah. You could try and get paid by a backdoor flush. I really like to see Hank start bluffing and. Imagine Hank just loses his mind. This and, goes uh, crazy. Pot, 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 pot. pot. <laughs> I only got second boat. I pulled. Yes. All right, we got ten on. I'm crazy. I mean, that's what. That's what Worldwide told me. Yeah. It's Hanks. 
Yeah. Gotta use that image. I've definitely gotten away with some bluffs that other players wouldn't have gotten away with. I need the nuts. I'm not good enough for There's that one time I had uh, I had pocket queens in one of the Holton streams, and as one dealer put it, I used it as a backdoor bluff. Backdoor, backdoor bluff. I got. Uh, I actually there was an ace, and then I I bluffed him off top pair on the river. I think he bluffed me once. I, yeah. Might have happened. Like I've I think, yeah, five you definitely times in my life. I think that was one of them. I was like, I was like, I only got, I only got top two. I fold. Got a little worldwide. So having fun. Having fun. He's this is the, where he doubles up the here. Queen ten three with the uh, the three club stangler. And he makes the tiny $40 raise, and he celebrates like he's just won the pot. Isn't that the worst feeling when you when you look at those four Nobody's cards? Nobody's going to fold. $40 is not enough. Do you think anybody's going to fold here? Hank, bring it in for a, bring it in for a three bet. Back raise, baby. Do it. <laughs> this is so oh, odd. We We're seven ways to the flop. <laughs> Who's not playing? JR. JR's played some really good yeah. poker tonight, too. He's not... Not just calling, so he's he's been very selective. Unlike the other players, really good poker, folds free. Yeah, that's. Hunt speaking free flop. Hunt speaking free flop. It's important to know that. Somehow we have a two hundred eighty-one dollar pot with seven players. We haven't seen the flop yet. Ten deuce deuce. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Jr. has heart. Oh, Jr. is in this hand. He's got the second nut here. Draw. People are playing all this trash, and none of them has a deuce. I had to man to recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Kai Hearts for JR. Jax for Wayne with lesser hearts. I think that's the best hand right now. If you check through, and there's a three on the turn. Six bit 50. Doesn't improve anybody worldwide. He's going to he's gonna bet, yeah. He's he got did, top hair, top kicker. Threes. No, he has tens and threes. He does improve. Oh, we did have. Oh, that's true. Yeah, sends and threes, which are uh, not as good as Jackson Deuces. Wayne is going to call. Wayne is ahead with his Jackson Deuces. Yeah, he does have that flush draw, if that means anything. I don't want to see Worldwide's reaction when uh, he finds out that that uh, two pair beats three. Check, check. check, check. Worldwide's going to lose it. <laughs> That's his first hand, I believe. He's celebrating. He's celebrating. He's finally won a pot. It's a decent pot, too. $300 profit. GG's in the chat for Wayne. Finally taking down a pot. All right, guys. So it is actually my time. Thank you all very much, everybody. Much appreciated. And there we go. We're going to get a, another dealer here. And that, what does that mean? Bomb pots. Bomb pots, yep. That's the worst thing about it. There's nothing I could have done. Thank you. That was a good little setup. Right there. <laughs> You're a pro. You're a regular pro with this. We see a worldwide main stuff. Worldwide's definitely playing a higher variance game. Yeah. Yeah. We see he's going to show down a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I just, I just think with PLO, everybody has it by the river. <laughs> I yeah. just most of the time. When you were like, everything's a family pie. You see Jesse stepping in. Pop your deuces. Pop your deuces. Jesse probably wishing he was in his so our friend Jesse in the box. I tell the same story about Jesse. Two years ago, I had knocked him out of a really big 400k guarantee. Yeah, that propelled me into sixth place. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If it wasn't for his chips, I wouldn't have made it. Now, you got to climb over a lot of people to get to work. I know. <laughs> Jedi Master Ted. Yeah, there are, <laughs> Jedi Master Ted, yes, there are plenty of irregular pros. Have you seen the poker scene? There's a lot of poker, poker pros who are just not regular people by any stretch. I don't even know what that means anymore, a poker pro. Is that... 
I, I mean, like, it's professional in the strictest term is somebody who's getting paid for it, right? That's most players. <laughs> well, they may not be profitable players. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're professional commentators for the strictest definition of the word that, you know, somebody compensates us to to run our mouths back here. Like, like which is hard, speaking, which is which is hard to believe. Strictly speaking, <laughs> Just, this is uh, <laughs> like, 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 you know, the, the dictionary says so. I'm going to defer to the dictionary. And uh, when I pull a small profit in, in poker because I don't play mixed games. And you don't play tournaments. I don't play tournaments. Uh, I don't have that. Trouble with two ten high flush draws. And it could be uh, two losers there. We got bottom set for T.O. on the top. Nobody go with a six? I don't see a six. Nobody has a six. Nobody six which is odd because we're Scammed. going. How do we go? We only have nine players. We're always 12 way <laughs> to the flop. <laughs> Thank you. I'm starting to worry about it. <laughs> calls. Uh, he's got... He's got a king. He's got no. Uh, he's got almost. Not, he's got kings and eights. So the obvious. Nobody has the diamonds, but the diamonds folded. The diamonds get there, and uh, we go check, check, and now the diamonds get there a second time, and still nobody has. This diamonds. might be the weakest hand I've ever seen go to showdown <laughs> <laughs> on a bomb pot. Tio's really gonna scoop with eights. Oh, he's got he's got the set on one side. Oh yeah, but and he's got just a pair of eights on the other side. I, I've won half a pot with ace high before now. I've done it. I I've I've won half a pot with like a five. Yeah. Or a six. <laughs> but still. No, it's uh. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah. King, how did that? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We got it right. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I thought he was giving him money to, uh, to Jr. Then. I mean, Jr. did have top two on one board. I guess that's. So. Yeah, king eight, which is not as good as eight eight eight. Not 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 usually, and it's not nearly as good as a flush. I got unless we're like playing global. But if we're playing low ball, how do those hands make the show now? They don't. Is there an irregular pro? Did you answer that question? I, I did. I was like, I just want to make sure I'm in the chat, too. And someone says semi-pro. I guess semi-pro is somebody who makes less than... Uh, or someone who's very half-heartedly making money. 50000 a year. I don't know. It's hard to. We were just having this discussion a couple weeks ago. Like, what, what constitutes someone being a pro player? In the early days of the show, this was something that chat would go to war about. I mentioned chat. What do you What do you think makes a professional player? This is for Wayne. What the suit? With the, uh, with the suit and dangles. That's actually him that I feel free. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. But it, but with I a like, limp like pot. Ninety percent of the hands I've seen tonight, I would have called it free. Yeah, we we wouldn't be good for the stream. Kenny, okay, Kenny, like ace ace queen ten eight. This is a double solid, suited, you know, double suited Broadway, Broadway cards. This is a, this all is the aces are represented pole. though. Yeah. Well, we're not trying to make a pair of aces with that. No, game. but but for Wayne, he's not getting his set. Yeah, especially when we're playing multi-way, we want to make straights and flushes. We don't want to. We don't want to make a pair here. Yeah, Kenny made it 25 with that solid hold, and we'll see if maybe Wayne decides to re-raise. No, he's not going to re-raise. He's just on the block. Yeah, he's come and get me. Somehow we're going. We're still going multi-way. This is Texas. I mean, of course we're going multi-way. Heads up is forbidden. So queen Jack nine, queen nine, queen be, nine. Nobody. That's going to be uh, bottom two for Kenny. Rick with an open ender. Kenny's got a gut shot. Yeah, so I think. Everyone's got a little something. A great, yeah, open ender, gut shot, two pair. Backdoor flushes for Kenny on both ways. And we're going to get 50 from Kenny, who was our pre-flap raiser as well. That board is really connected, though. Hard not to have something on this. Board. It really isn't. I mean, like everybody has Aces a gut. Everybody has a. Luck. Everybody has a gut shot. Everybody has a straight draw. <laughs> Only Rick calls. Kenny with the two pair. That's There's not the what he wanted to see. There's the queen of clubs on the turn. See. So now, uh, Kenny improves with the straight. To, yeah. And he's got three pair. Rick. Kenny has a straight. 
And Rick has the king high clubs, which are not as good as ace high clubs. Most of the time. Like Kenny basically has everything, and Rick is betting eighty dollars into him. There's nothing I'm afraid of if I'm if I'm Kenny. I'm gonna call what she just did. Three of diamonds, beautiful. Uh, you are losing to ace king, but you have no problem calling it back here. It just has two pair though, right? And a straight. Where's his straight? Damn it! <laughs> you still win. I thought I was losing it. <laughs> I thought I thought. I, I'm done thinking. I'm done thinking tonight, everyone. 140 from Rick. 140 from Rick. Rick is going to turn his one pair into a bluff here. I mean, the board is straightened out there. So Busted even even really nine hard. seven, nine ten, nine jack, all all beat him there. Yeah, this is, yeah. And Kenny's not going to like having the uh, busted draw. Like, like, he has the busted draw. That's the problem. And he didn't go pot size there, which really means look, he's looking for value. So that's a pretty skillful bet there. Um, how does he not have 9-7? The flush did miss, but it's hard to put your opponent on a flush. Oh, good call. call. Oh, that's gangster. They didn't come no, here. Oh, Kenny. Kenny's like, where's the 9? Where's the, You don't have a 9? <laughs> Well done, Kenny. Wow, he really thought that out. I thought Rick made a great play because of the sizing and everything. See how else I can screw up tonight. So Michael's saying pros make a living with their craft. Okay. If only there was a side screen, I could just read the hands for me and add the drawers for me because I'm clearly not smart enough to do this. <laughs> no, at least not at the pace that we move at here. It's not like, you know, some of those over overproduced shows where production is telling them, okay, you got to wait 30 seconds. you got to let the, the people run their mouths. we got to get the shots of all the different... No, we, we get down to the poker here. It's good to see the straddle going on. We'll see a $70 pot because everybody's just going to call. Is he going to see a raise here? What do you think? God, no. From anybody. God, no. Tio Maybe actually does Aces not. Do nah, Tio does Maybe not have a good Aces. hand. Will we see a raise size that actually makes sense is the real question. Like, like you'll get 10 calls and you'll get a min click. What's that? And you get, you'll, you'll get 10 more calls. <laughs> Worldwide goes for... Apparently, you know, that's just a call, I think. Yeah. No, he made it 30. That's 30. Another tiny raise, which is going to get absolutely yeah. no votes. It doesn't really accomplish anything, except you're just building a pot up. Yeah, we, we still have, we're still six ways, $182. So the pot's pretty nice right now. And so no flush draw out there. Who's got the ace? Who's got the king nine? Something like that. Jack nine blocks it. Ace Queen. Mm. Make Ace Queen the best at the moment. Nobody has anything in this hand. Just a Queen is, a, is in the lead right now. They check through, and there's a nine. Set, set of, of nine. Nines. Nines. Yeah, set of nines for JR. Brings in a flush draw, which Wayne has the nut flush draw here. JR so Wayne is not going set. anywhere. Slight bummer that he has one of his own boat outs. So the nut diamonds go nowhere. And then Tio also nowhere. calls. He's got the straight draw now with the. Uh, he's got the. Yeah, I get a king so or an eight, right? Is that what we're looking for here? Worldwide is going to be in there too with the. Rick a actually got the straight there. He's got the 10-8. Uh, the, the deuce of diamonds is going to give Wayne the nuts it's here. Gonna, it's going to make Rick feel. I thought it was two nines. <laughs> so Wayne's got the nuts. And if you're if you're JR, it's so obvious. With that many players like, that someone has a flush. <laughs> yeah, this is where I just mutter words under my breath and I fold. Such a <clears throat> such a small value bet too. I'll probably get some. Oh, calls Rick, here. he's gonna call. He's only got a straight. He's got the ten eight. He doesn't even have the good straight. And Wayne gonna show the diamonds. Wayne's gonna win another one. Let's go, Wayne. Let's go. Put him. Might be put him in the profit now.
Got a look here. Wayne getting out of there. JR down a little, Worldwide down a bunch, but as you've all seen. At least Wolwa came to play, though. At he least Potts, to play. I mean, he was only got to win a couple of them to get things going the right way. I still like his jacket. It's probably not something I could pull off. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't stand a chance there. Last stream he was wearing some Gucci glasses. Yeah. Very nice. Max buy-in. I don't know what the initial max buy-in was. I don't know if this is a match or not. Was the max a thousand? I don't know. Yeah, it was a thousand, but I, some players bought in for less. <laughs> yeah. Worldwide with some aces now with the suit. Well, I thought he was Makes double suited 50. there for a minute. But no. And JR with kings. Yeah, but I don't like it. We got it. jacks, we got queens. We got them all. This random number generator is juice for action. I was going to say, Kenny's going to win it with 9-8 suited. <laughs> but he, he folds. He folds. Aces, kings, queens, and jacks. Oh! Kings for JR. Oh, my gosh. How slow is he going to play this? Pretty slow. How <laughs> fast is Worldwide going to play his aces? What if an ace or a queen comes on the turn? Oh, my God. There's no draws out there whatsoever. JR first to act. He has basically the immortal nuts. He's saying, please bet, please we bet, please through. bet. The four is going to pair. He's got to start putting money in the pot now. He's $75, something like that. He's going to check oh, in. Check. Rick's going to bite. Rick with queens. He's going to make it 85 Worlds White has aces, does not want to let him go. He's and do call. not do not raise, JR. Don't check raise. Press that call Don't button. Check raise. Don't do it. What would call you? A four? <laughs> Two fours. That's true. And he just calls. I just like it. Just calls. Correct move there. And then Tio finding the exit. What do you think? Do you think he bets now? See, three of clubs is a safe That river. should not help anybody. The pot's at 476, yeah. He's Very a small bet. Quite a tiny one out there. If I were his opponents, I couldn't put him on a king because a king would have bet the flop. Like if you just had one king, you're betting that flop. So. And uh, he does, he does uh, show the kings. He doesn't make his opponents wait to 15 minutes see the mighty achievement of flopping quads. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> yeah. You guys have seven points now? Yeah, I think you probably have one more point than the last time you chatted. I know, so. so seven. And three and two. Every ten minutes you contribute to the shot, you get a point, for those that are not familiar with the points. Once you have ten, you can gamble them. So Tio is going to straddle, and he's double suited here. Ace nine seven five speeds on clubs. Worldwide. Pocket ace, aces ace for trouble. And a suit for trouble. He's had that a few times tonight. That's just cool. I do like I, I do like Tio's hand here. I don't mind the free bet if I have the aces though. Yeah, Tio. Yeah, he three bets it. He's gonna put it like a hundred. Down. $180, something like that. Tio's really got isolated. a good hand to crack aces. And T's got hope. He's got a heart draw. Also, uh, pair plus gut shot for Tio. Uh, worldwide Rick's with the uh, flop straight, the 7 5 straight with the redraw. He's got the flop straight with a wrap. Is that a thing? <laughs> well, he's got the. If a 5, the if the ten a five is comes. Back up. Yeah. The 10 is back up. Uh, or a 5, right? Yeah. Well, that doesn't improve him, though. Uh, no, 7-9? Oh, right. Proves him to a 9-9 Ignore everything straight. I say tonight. 
I was going to say, didn't the nine better than straight, straight than Trouble the seven? Trouble balls, yeah. For some reason, I thought he had the nine high. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, now he, he does improve. Ten, so he does have point. the uh, straight to the ten. And uh, Worldwide moves all in for his remaining 193. Uh, T.O. did actually pick up a, a uh, gut shot to a better straight. He's got the flush, too, but flush draw. But yeah, yeah, can't Tio's be too proud hearts. of it. Can't be too proud of it. And uh, over to Trouble, who has aces with no... Three draws of any Gut kind. shot, He's right? If he gets a seven, he might get a, the same straight. Is that right? That, yeah. yeah, a seven's going to chop it. And so you never want to call for a chop. <laughs> no, you don't. Over to Tio, who might be feeling like he has too many outs. He could, yeah. I, I, since he's all in, he's all. It's only two hundred. His against, SBR is one, three to one, right? So he's against the loose opponent. It was a half pot bet, so you got to win like not even a quarter of the time. Yeah. So I, I think this is a call here. It's a really gross call. Really gross call. Like you're looking for a nine or a heart, and you're going to hope that your heart's good. Of course, that nine does give him the nut straight. Usually when the player picks up his cards like that. That's the card for you. Know. Oh, we could be wrong. Or it's a stack. Oh! Know. If Worldwide loses this, he's going to lose it. <laughs> oh! 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 They ran it twice, he's, though. Uh, yeah, they ran twice, so they're going to chop it here. Twice is nice. Wow. Yeah. Worldwide cannot catch a break. Sometimes it's not your night. Sometimes you just on the wrong end of it every Flops time. Flops the nuts, improve to the nuts. <laughs> Couldn't hold. That's why we talk about reach was very important here. Or you, like imagine, or you just don't play those hands. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, like, yes, you have the nuts. Like, I'm not that in love with it because I could, like, especially so multi-way. I could easily be up against 9-7 with a heart draw, and I'm getting free rolls. Or two pair or set. There's so many players in the hand now, so every every street you're afraid of. You're fading a lot, or like you, maybe you're just getting free rolls outright, and like that's really bad. You don't want to get free rolls. No. V-pips. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Yes, V-pip, yes. So the highest one is Rick that I saw at 82%. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There, he, well, he, he went to the. He, 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 he stepped out for a couple yeah, of hands, right. so that's. Yeah. Uh, now I don't know if that's the highest V pip because I couldn't see it went away too fast, so maybe this one is higher. It's, uh, Who's played worldwide? Played every hand almost. They're quite high. Um, I think Jr. has the lowest, I would say. Yeah. So for the, I to, I use the word free roll for those of you have the word free roll. Getting free rolls is a situation where. Uh, you uh, you can't improve it. You know, I'll put it, let me try this again because I can't talk. <laughs> Words are hard, so everyone, as Aaron would say. Uh, if you're free rolling somebody, you're going to win, but, but you could. Uh, right now you're chopping, but you could win outright. Yeah, you're and the other guy has no path to win outright, but you could win outright. But they can't. Like you flop like, a nut like straight we, with like a flush draw. We have draw. the same straight, but one of us has a flush draw, the other one doesn't. And speaking of flush draws, Royal gut shot for Hank right now, who also does turn Broadway. And I'm thinking if Hank is betting, you're folding. And also, nobody has a hand. Do you, do you notice the different dynamics with players betting and who's calling and who and who's calling? But in all fairness, this is another example where, like, even though it was Hank, nobody actually had a hand no, anyway. Right. Like, it could be worldwide, and I'm not calling with any of those hands because. Uh, I, I have nothing. <laughs> I swear I'm not picking on that. That's the worst run of YouTube. It does feel like you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
second is over. There's over the Second is over what? I'm sprinting over that on each table before he gets it. That is not the right answer. You might as well put your name on poker atlas now. <laughs> People discussing their post-stream plans already. It's, it's still another hour and a half, everyone. On a different topic, I just, the WWE, I don't know if you watch wrestling, aren't they merging with the UFC? Uh, they're, they're merging with the same parent company. I saw that story yesterday. Who would have thought that, that doesn't even, let's be honest, real wrestling and fake wrestling are going to be under the same banner? Apologies to the wrestling. I'm turning everyone off. I'm the, <laughs> I, I turn, all the hopster fans turn me off, and now the wrestling fans are going to turn me off. There's only two hopster fans, so. Yeah, both of them. They both turn people off. Ace King is uh, Ace is up for a walk wide and the best hands. No flush draws out there, so he's got to feel pretty good about this. I think he's going to bet. He does bet. All right. I guess Tio could call. He has an ace. He doesn't have that much going for him. Kenny's got to get out of this. He's got a gut shot, I guess. That's kept other players. <laughs> Please put a three out there, just for Kenny. Not today. Aces and sevens for Tio might get him in a little trouble, though. Actually, Worldwide has three pair. <laughs> yeah. He sure does, and that's going to be 100 from Worldwide. And Tio, no, he's going to fall. I was thinking he might have fought just enough yeah, to he did, pay him, he but not this time. Well, to be fair, he shouldn't have been in the first yeah. place. That's it. Well, the cat saying, well, Wadi Wine's 15%. There's the Keating line, which is 70%. He's some guy out in California or something. You know what? There's higher lines than 70%. I mean, have you watched this show much? Like, I can think of some players here who are me pipping 70% on a slow day. I can name three right off the bat. Me too. <laughs> it might be the same three. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see World War play some hold them. That would be fun. That would be fun. Everything <laughs> Yeah. Aaron's everything is Yeah, and there's one Holton player who will just like even put his whole stack in the I wonder who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that player. Um, it was at a different club. He uh, straddled for 2K, and I wake up with Ace King suited. That's good. Uh, so I go all in for just a little more 2K. Okay. Of course, he has to be. He, he wins with 9 6 off. <laughs> uh, but you like the action. <laughs> like you're going to take the spot every time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like 80% of the time, yeah, that's great. you're going to double, and that's good. And uh, this flop is good for Tio, who has flopped a flush. Never mind that ace of hearts. We can see on the camera that uh, it's a club. There it goes. Yeah, yeah so Tio flopped the, the flush. flush. And... Uh, if it goes check down to him, which it does, and he bets, he's got to feel pretty good about that because everybody's going to bet their flush here on the flop. Yeah, checks. No, he meets it. And that's it. Yeah, no one's betting this with, unless they have a flush. And my favorite was when one of those guys mega straddled on stream, and I shoved him for like three grand. The player behind me folds ace queen to a single raise. I would fold ace queen. <laughs> and it would have been a god awful fold. It would have been. But you know what? My biggest advice is no problem getting bluffed or folded. <laughs> I wish I had learned that earlier. I've had a lot of bad experiences in my life with ace queen, so, you know. Like, I do have a tendency to be on the wrong side of it. So, uh, well, the rule of thumb is never go all in with the queen in your hand. <laughs> that's that's the rule of thumb. Pocket queens, queen no, jack. What if, what if you're the guy fading the queen? Yeah, I mean. I, I busted a final table last summer with uh, jacks getting rivered by king queen. Oh, really? Well, it's in my experience, I just won't do it with the queen now. Pot pot. Ooh, that's juicy. This would be good if you have a queen and a, and and a, a ten, 10. And a friend. No flush draws out there, so queen ten would be really nice right now. 
Kenny does have top hair on both with the, the straight draw, the gutter. And it feels like it's going to go check all the way around, which is odd because you have two boards yeah, in every play. There's, Kenny does not have top hair on both boards. No, he's got top hair. With we have a miss scan. Oh. There it goes. Yeah, so Kenny has the back. ace and the gut <laughs> shot on one side, and he's got squat douche on the other, and Hank has middle set, but he's showing a tiny amount of equity, so somebody must have something way better. Or they're drawing to something through. better. There it is. Okay, there Rick is. has a straight on the top, and I... I can't keep up. With this Kenny game. has Kenny up. has two pair. I believe you. Plus he has a redraw to a straight on the bottom, so I don't think he's going to. These are one of these yeah, spots Tio's, where tio has got a straight wrap on the bottom, which is uh, it is a one-way hands. Uh, Rick, he's gonna go for the seventy. This is dangerous though because that uh, that top four is a recipe to get caught. Yeah, it is, and, 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 it, and when Kenny's you bet there, it's so obvious you have a straight on that board. That's the obvious yeah. board. Kenny does have top two. He could suck and out he's here. He's got the uh, he's got the straight draw on the bottom. Wayne gonna call. Plus, Holding, Kenny has uh, the gutter. Wayne with a pretty white holding to be calling there. And we go. That's the wrong board Rick, for that ace. Rick and. Uh, now, King so King let's there. see. So nuts on top for Rick, and then Wayne on the bottom with a wheel. Wayne does get there on the bottom. There he with is. A wheel. Very disguised. <laughs> when he got there, he's going to win half the pot if nobody has Broadway's the problem. And he's going to make it 225. Rick's going to call. Yeah, and I would just call here. Yeah, because you want you and want you want this to go multi-way unless you, you want think to go multi-way and with uh, nobody's gonna fold the, the quarter. That's the thing. Kenny, just Kenny should be folding here, but it's on Rick's action. First and, uh, I feel like he's Hollywooding a little bit to get. No he way, he oh, folds. Nice. Besides, he's getting ordered, I guess. And <laughs> Kenny's top two, if he finds the call, would be good, but there's no way he can call. He's going to fold. Wayne's going to take it all with that bet. I, I guess I guess we're figuring I'm probably quartered. Like, like, somebody like has Kenny may have it. Tens. Like a 10 and a Broadway card does Any Broadway, you. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is, like that, that wasn't even a full pot size bet. Like it's not as detrimental. If it well, to his, to his defense, to his defense, like Kenny could have a Broadway and repot it. Yeah, he could. He, he could, could repot it, and that would just yeah. put him in a really tough spot. So, I mean, I get it, but still. <laughs> Here's the thing: this game has played crazy. Okay, let's go with imagination. Yeah, I figure when, when Wayne when Wayne is betting there, he's got. You just don't know what board he has. He's got some. He's got another yeah. hand. Okay. <laughs> the game just played so crazy that I have a hard time being able to play. I want to tank. And now Wayne. We we even we hold the uh, like if we have the nuts, we're gonna fold the nuts. Well, actually, he did just fold the nuts, so. Yeah. Like that scene in Motley's game, even that wasn't that far out. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> That's a true story, isn't it? It is. <laughs> we have a new player. Yeah, that's right. That not his. That, no, it's imagination. You said you weren't going to call yeah, them no, by the screen. Said Rahul when he. Came oh, it in. did. I thought it said it in. did. They may have put a different name in <laughs> since then. <laughs> I thought. I but saw. the graphic came up. It was definitely <laughs> him. He's an action player. I haven't seen he him is. play like PLO. I, play yeah. I, I haven't played PLO with him. I play Noah oh, Medus with him, though, which is all you need to know. If somebody's going <laughs> to play Noah Medus, which is an action game, Noah Medus, the seventh single draw, that is a fun game. But that is an action game for sure. Disgusting Jew is asking why Rick would fold a straight because he thought he was getting quartered and he's probably afraid of the re raise. Yeah, I would agree it with It looked like system. everybody had a straight, so he's only getting a third. A miracle or, or has happened. We are heads up on a flop. That's happened like twice tonight. 
All right, so Kenny, Kenny uh, picks up an open ender here. That's a wrap for He's Kenny. actually got a wrap, yeah. That's a mega wrap for Kenny. Kenny has too many outs. Rick with an ace. And the ace is going to win, I believe, right? Yeah, a pair of aces will do the job with deuce of spades. If he gets checked, Rick. no, I, I, Kenny's going to have to bet this. But he's in he's in first position. He's under the gun, effectively, so he's probably probably not. Check, check. We're going to take it down. But here's the thing, Drew. Yes, there was the... There's the uh, nut straight. He had the nut straight. He, he probably knew that was nut straight. That's why it took him so long to fold. The problem is he has nothing on the bottom. And so if you're falling, you're going to hopefully win half the pot. Somebody could have the same straight as you. And on that board with four Broadway cards, it's easy for somebody to have the same straight as you. And then you don't win half the pot. You win a quarter of the pot. You're going to put in a third of the money, and you're only going to get a quarter of the money back. And that's and both players, and all three players could have had the same straight too. Right. The, there was one ten on the board. Yeah, theoretically, all three yeah. players could have. Had I've had that happen to me before. <laughs> unlikely, possible though. But yeah, if you put in a third of the money and you get a quarter of the money back, that's not good. That's a losing play in the long run. And he probably thought that was the situation. And I have seen players get a six. As, as I have five. All right, let's see what. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting to see somebody get an eight. That is possible. That is possible. You could have four players with the same straight. Yeah. And, and they. He is called out. Imagination now. He is now Imagination. Okay. Production has uh, updated his. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Two okay. pair for imagination. Speaking of imagination, Rolf White with the gut shot and the dry ace. An over pair by Hank. You got a gutter by Worldwide. Which, by the way, imagination with some serious backup here in the form of an open ender. It's like a landmine out there with so many players there in every hand. <laughs> Wayne Kong with the bottom ends of the open ends, or Hank gonna fold his. He is uh, drawn specific. Well, no, he's not. He's drawn specifically to seven. Okay, Worldwide has bottom set. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So that makes sense for him to call there. He has a cut shot and he has bottom set, and the six of clubs doesn't do him a bit of good. Nobody really improved or harmed by the six. Imagination with a draw and two pair is wow. two ten. I'm not crazy. Not good at the moment yeah, right. against that Sets set, two but he doesn't know that. And now Worldwide gonna lead out here two ten. She's gonna lead the turn. Imagination calls off his remaining one ninety. That's what you call gambling there. Wayne is think uh, Wayne should be getting out of here. Like this is a draw that's like only one way is good, even going to be the nuts. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's. Um, we, we generally don't want to draw the tail end he, the straight, he, especially when there's the diamond as well. This is you have a bad draw, Wayne. That's all you have. You have a bad draw. He should probably fold the bad draw, assuming his hand runs correctly. Especially given the fact of how much money the, his opponents have. One player is all in, and the other, so he's not going to be able to bluff anybody. Yeah. I feel like that's what he's thinking about. <laughs> I just raised this. <laughs> but he's going to let it go. You want to go twice? I always go twice. Okay. Twice. All right. Twice is nice. And there's a fill. Oh! Animation. He does get the. It's another chop it's pot. Boat, jack, uh, jack's full of tents, and then the other side is going to be the uh, set of deuces holding up. World's wide, not thrilled that uh, his. He's getting chopped a lot. He's getting chopped out. Stop running it twice. Not that you. Well, You'd have yeah, lost that one. one. <laughs> no, he's one and one, though. The first time he would have won the top, and then, yeah. You sunk my battleship, man. Oh, 
you know, for this game, there hasn't been a lot of... No one's really lost a lot of money here. I mean, Worldwide's down a grand, but that's very tame. Very tame stream. It, it could definitely be worse. <laughs> Imagination by short. He, he's looking at whether the, the, thing, the thing's going yeah. to Dave, Dave been asking the whole time, and we said, yeah, he's known for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you remember when they used to have the stream on right next to it? Yeah. Was, everybody would be doing this. <laughs> Sorry we got off on the production came in. And yeah. Had to straighten this out. But you can't take her too seriously. She is a Carolina fan. Putting on a show for the viewers. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, like, we won't be the subject of the latest scandal video. <laughs> but you know what? It would be an accomplishment if anybody cared about us enough to make a scandal video about this particular problem. Gosh, yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Well, I wonder what scandal they would think of. I, like, these three hours have been a crime against poker. We're really so. <laughs> Did you see that? This might be a different Realistic show. Realistic poker check. Chatbot hitting the bank on the gamble. Good for you. you I've, never, I've never even won. How can that, for in a year? <laughs> hey, keep posting in the chat so you get the 10 points so we can get you winning tonight. Help me. <laughs> I'll gamble all 10. No, People speaking of. interpret that message in a particular <laughs> way. Strange, stranger, I need an adult. <laughs> okay. Back to what you guys came for. <laughs> Some poker, although. Oh, I thought I saw a six. I, I guess do it, see a six. I do Hank's see a hands. six. Yeah, Hank. And so he's going to bet this, and everyone's going to fold. And uh, Tia oh. also has a six. And it's, but it's Wayne, it's Wayne that leads Wayne out here. Wayne betting the $20 and Tia quickly calling. Wayne having an eight. Okay. That's an unusual. Okay. He does have. Yeah, I, I was trying to think of something. And there's the fill for Hank right away. Everyone else runs it now. Well, Tio in his mind, well, he did pick up the flush draw, but it is dead right now. And I'd like to see Hank just call this. Don't and raise he it up. Does he does call exactly it. Exactly as you wish. And he is in position. He has the opportunity Ooh. to raise. Like he now makes the uh, the king's full. Uh, the uh, nut sixes. nuts here. You got eights, didn't you? No? Just check the Well, um, I, is he scared of king eight? Check, check. Is he scared of king eight? He's losing to king eight, and that's it. He can't even have quads because you have the six. You can't. I just, that is an unusual, that's an unusual play. I, um, <laughs> I just don't understand. I mean, especially, especially when Tio checks the river and you have position. Like, no one's ever checking King 8. No one's ever checking, I just. That literally makes no sense at all. Honestly, like, I can't explain that. I can't I've seen that a few times tonight. No, just no. Rena, I think I'm okay. That was just, uh, we've seen a couple of plays that just left me a little speechless, that's all. Is there something in the air or something? Is there like funny gas in the air? <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna get me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're back to poker here. See how else they can make my brain hurt. Rick does have aces. He's not suited though. Yeah, these are not good aces. I don't blame him for popping it here. But these yeah. aces are not good, and nobody's folding. Like, like I could consider limping just because. 
This hit actually sucks, and nobody's going to fold anyway. So we're going to play another quoted pot here. $158 in the middle and counting. Whoa! CO came this far. He's got a double this suited run down. <laughs> I like I like you like that hand better than the aces. Yeah, like he can actually crack something here. Uh, 178 in the middle. Everybody's got a big pair, it looks like. Nines, tens, jacks, and aces. Seven three. Anyone got a queen? Uh, Wayne has a queen. Sevens and threes for Tio. Yeah, Wayne with the queen. Lots of checking. The aces are going to lead out here. Yeah, Rick keeps Which dealing I with the aces. He doesn't have much to go with it. Going to clear out most of these hands. Wayne with his pair of queens. What do we know? He's folding two pairs. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You have bottom two pair and you have a gut shot. Make it make sense. I should bet on this game right now to hitch this. I'm rooting for Raul here. Imagination, sorry. I think he just saw the game was open. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play a little PLL. Yeah, and you know what? I'll Why not? <laughs> it's, fun. it's a lot of fun. I, I know he's down for some PLL. Like I said, he plays spicier games than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he plays bigger games, too. Jack for CO. Uncharacteristic, he's going to raise it up. And nobody's going to fold. Call, call, call. Call. Got a couple of things here. I was going to say, I like JR's is hand. really good for Hank and for JR. And he's just flopping it again. He flopped that, those Hank, quads. Hank and JR have flopped the same boat. Gosh, that's... that's. Uh, Hank is actually free-rolling JR. Hank can make a bigger boat because he has overs. JR doesn't have any overs to his nine. So uh, Hank could actually make a bigger boat here. Hank makes it 50. JR makes it 125, which gets it down to heads up. They both had the absolute Hank nuts gonna here. Hank's going to blast it in. <laughs> JR is not going to fold. JR is getting free rolled here. Oh, wow. That's got to be a good feeling for Hank, knowing that he could take this down. He, he can't lose. He can, he's going to win at least half. He could win more. He could scoop. If he gets a king or a queen, Hank is going to scoop. Otherwise, this is I have not seen an all-in on the flop yet tonight. So. Nope. This is the earliest we've ever gotten there. Six won't help JR. Uh, JR has two boats, but that's not how this game works. <laughs> Chop it up. Yes, Ragnar, I was kidnapped. Are they running again? They're running again! There's a, is that a run again? Oh, uh, Why would they run it Did again? they run twice? Did uh, they it run gets twice? quartered on a boat. If they ran twice, then it's going to be a quarter. It's going to be a quarter there, and uh, Hank's going to get three quarters. Yeah, apparently they did run twice. That's like a $600 profit there. Yeah, he's going to get half of JR's stack. <laughs> going to get this counted out here. Ravix didn't capture the second run, but they did run twice, and then uh, Hank's free roll came in the second time. This is why we like having reach or us. This is so unlucky for JR. Yeah. This might be a Yeti cooler of the night candidate. Have you seen so many? This one feels the worst. This feels the grossest somehow. Flop the absolute nuts and still lose. Yeah. Uh, not just the absolute nuts, it's both. Yeah, both. yeah, I mean, I just. Like, it's not like it's a straight. If it's a straight, I expect it's a run. So it's a good I'm, sure, I'm sure either one of them thought the other guy had pocket sevens. <laughs> yeah. 
Because you're not called going all in on the flop unless you have a boat. And you block the nine, but I don't know. It doesn't, it's either way, it's the same thing is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I would never run it twice in that spot if I have that. I don't know, maybe I would. If I'm just kind of being nice. If somebody else would want it, if the opponent wanted to do that. But that's. I mean, you're asking your opponent to. I'm just going to take my variance like it's grown up. Well, you're asking your opponent to hit the hit, and you can hit it four times because you know you're not, you don't have a redraw. I think he did agree to that. They would have done it. Although I didn't hear the, I didn't hear it. But it's hard to believe. I guess it's not hard to believe. We only played 54 hands in three hours, which is probably the lowest. <laughs> this might be a record, but like as I the said record before, low. I'm, I can word cause this real quick. Nobody's folding. We have gone six, at least six ways. And yeah, I, almost that's every thing. Like every time, like another player makes it to the next street, that's like another action that you're going to have. And it adds up. Rick is going to play his four, five, six, nine. Um, Kenny's going to pot this. He's double suited. Hank with uh, the middling parts all connected. Of course, Worldwide's going to play this. I don't even know what he has. There, okay. <laughs> Imagination's in there. Trouble, Wayne. Seven, seven to the flop. Who is not playing? JR's not playing. He's the only one that's been disciplined. <laughs> Party pooper. All diamonds. Imagination. Queen high diamonds. Ooh, imagination has diamonds as well. Second best diamonds. This could get um although I think imagination could away with it. How much is in there? He has two hundred and seventy four hours. I Maybe not. <laughs> That's true. Flush, unfortunately for him. I don't see any other holdings of consequence here. Not that there's a lot on the flush board, like a two pair sort of a thing, maybe. Like, like Hank's got, got like a, a wrap, but who cares? It's a no. monotone flop. So imagination calls worldwide's 50. He just has an ace he's going to have to fold. So if you're worldwide, you know imagination doesn't have the nut flush because it would have been re-raised. Probably would have been re-raised, yeah. Yep. But this SPR is so short, it doesn't matter. Like, SPR is less than one now. I only need one street to get it in. I just don't want the board to pair. Which actually, Imagination picks up a sliver here. He has two pair now. An ace or a three will do the job for Imagination. Worldwide making it 100. He's going to have to go all in at this point right now. He can't just call this. He knows he's not ahead at this point. But. He's going to call and try to pair the board. I think you're basically turning it face up here. Two pair or a set. Queen is not board here. That effectively right. puts them all in. Puts in 100 and uh, imagination. Calling the 100. Both whites seeing the queen high diamonds. This time he is on the right side of it. Bet on the wrong side of it so many times tonight. Imagination. Got to step out for a moment. Sounds like he's going to reload and join us. It's power hour. <laughs> we do have 50 plus minutes left here. Worldwide picked up a nice little profit there. Pick makes $400 dent in his uh, his loss so far tonight. So good for him. It was at Imagine. I wanted to say his name. Imagination's expense. We gotta get something like a swear drop. Drop a tower every time. Oh, I'm notorious for calling people their real name. <laughs> it takes practice.
think Imagination is still in. He has chips behind, 20 something dollars. So. And he, yeah, he has chips behind. He hasn't missed the point yet either. World's wide, not wow. Yeah, that's, yeah a, that's a pretty strong hand. Outside of that eight. Yeah. Very reasonable holding. He's going to pot it up. I'm on a heater. He declares he's on a heater. I get those mixed up all the time. <laughs> They're Rick calling here. Oh, yeah. I guess that's okay. Sort of <laughs> he is double suited. I got so. two suits. Nobody with a four. Yeah. You do have two diamonds out there, plus Rick's got top pair. Yeah, Rick has the diamond draw. Worldwide's kings are the best hands at the moment, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be because I am not good at this. <laughs> Worldwide calling Rick's 40. Heads up to the turn. <laughs> A rare occasion that we get to the turn heads up. That's not going to help anybody, although it does. No, it doesn't. I take Nine that back. Nine is a total dud. It does feel like Rick's betting here. It feels like he has a four. That's what he's trying to tell him. And Rick does only has 297 behind, so stock, you the know, stack to pot Rick. ratio is, is effectively one. So he's really, to call this 85, he has to call another 300 more. And are you willing to do that with just one pair? Worldwide, going to let it go. He had the best hand, but he was actually the equity underdog because we had so I'm many test my luck with overpair. <laughs> Bemoaning his overpair. <laughs> I'm test it. Kenny's looking unhappy as usual. <laughs> and he's winning, isn't he? He's up. Oh, well, he's like. He had, a, he, he had a huge huge night the last time we had a PLO stream. It was up like 4K or something, 3K. He won a big game. Be sure to join us tomorrow. The uh, big game from Dallas. Back here, TCH Live. Dallas on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Thursday. Don't know what we're doing this week. I'm sure it'll be good wherever it is, whatever it is. Uh, you got the final table on Saturday. Can we have one in Houston? Is that true? I don't know what the first one okay. is. That was a fun. They had they had a 1 3 stream. Yeah, I That was heard fun about to watch, that. yeah. We should road trip that and play on that stream. <laughs> Maybe I find my way over there at some point before I disappear for the summer. Worldwide made a 25 with another solid holding. And he's getting no respect from anyone. We're going to go six ways again. I don't think it's respect. I think everybody wants to see a flop. Everybody's saying, I can flop quads here. Pick me, Jesse. Ace, in the, Ace in the window. All clubs. Ace, 10, 3. Imagine Nobody has seven clubs. High clubs. Oh, seven high. The only clubs. Rick with the but do you think club. Imagination learned his lesson last time? And <laughs> this is even less value here. And he has just over pot left. And he's going to pot it. it. Which I don't, don't think anybody got can it, you got really... It. Call. I, I don't see two pair. I, I don't see anybody paying him. I don't see anybody paying him. Somebody had two pair. I could see them calling, but I don't even see that. So this is probably going to be a fold, I would think. Imagination is going to win his first hand. I think. His first hand. I think that's the first. Yeah. Tio is our big winner. Have you ever seen this lady stream with the the winner, the leading earn winnings is only six hundred dollars? 
Okay. Fine. We usually don't have streams this small. Quote small. Yeah, it's like it's happened once or twice. Like actually, our comeback show after the plague, I was big winner. I think I was up like maybe seven or eight hundred dollars. Oh. That was like the one three. Right when the that. I moved here during the plague. And that's when we used to I hit, we used to have to wear masks. Right? Yep, those were the days. <coughs> like, it was one of those like there weren't a lot of big hands that night. I just had like one spot against a crazy player, where like I I made the right decision and I got a stack and was, like that was it. Bomb pot. Uh, Kenny with the f two flush draws. That's a lot of flush draws and Hank with trip jacks. Also a king and some straight possibilities. Yeah, worldwide we'll uh, with a gutter here. Oh, not hearts for trouble. It's going to be tough for the hearts to come in, though. But he doesn't know that. <laughs> he does not know that. Well, except that there's four hearts on the board. So he has some idea. Yes. And he can get $40 with uh, He's got the king queen. He's also got king deuce on the top. And he's got heart draws that he thinks might be good. They're second, not hearts. Hank calls. Wayne's in there. So does trouble, so does Wayne. Uh, Wayne's Wayne got a set. a set. Yeah. And he's also got bottom two on the bottom, which is actually three count. That's not a heart. That is a heart. But it's on the parrot board, which is not fun. So uh, a side hearts for trouble will be good if it gets the showdown. Set of deuces on the top for Wayne. Uh, don't believe any straights came in there. Kenny has the second hearts on the bottom. Uh, we check through. Wayne in trouble, gonna chop it up here. Ooh, he slows plays Kenny just a little bit with that heart. <laughs> Kenny's trying to figure out who has what. Like, do I have yeah. a winner? And it's such a small pot. I mean, yeah. You're going four ways, basically, and it's only 240. There's two jacks on the board. I said, I'm not going to call $40. Jack. Jack. I hit ace queen. Jack. Jack. And then I put another straight on the other board, too. Thank you. I would have hit it. 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 I would have hit because if I do that, I get raised. I can't call it. Just in the cards. Tap, tap here. <laughs> <laughs> People do sneak up on them. Oh, I would look at my cards first. And I would say, mm. Worldwide says he's going to put a new strategy. He's going to look at his cards. That's a bold move. Let's see how it works out. <laughs> Let's see how it works out. He is connected a little bit. If you told me that these players weren't able to get their cards, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't able to race. They should do a pre flop line. Oh, man. Look at that for Kenny. That's a beautiful hand. Double suited Broadways. That's the best starting hand we've seen. Go full pot, man. Makes it 30. Nope. Nobody's folding. Yeah. Watch it. That is a nice hand there. Gosh. Watch it be like small clubs. Call, 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 call. JR is calling as well. His spades are covered by Kenny. And I don't see the ace of spades. So it looks like this flush hits on any of those two. I saw, yeah. Jack 7-3, Tia with top two. That is not the flop Kenny wanted. <laughs> Kenny with top pair and back doors. Both of his flushes are live on the back door. 
Uh, Worldwide has a gutter to go to seven. Imagination with nothing. He's got a gutter as well, but it's Makes it so. over to Tio, who's going to be betting his top two from the look of it. Tio with the backdoor diamonds. Going about two-thirds, it looks like. 110. Kenny's saying this is the best hand I've seen all night pre-flop. Yeah, <laughs> and this was a disappointing flop. It's a good bet, too. It's 110. It's two thirds pot, basically. Penny with a top pair, top kicker, and a lot of back doors. That's all the overs. He's going to take another card here. He's not as far behind as he thinks he is, though. Yeah. Feels like his opponent has a this set. Is, this is going to be an interesting turn here. It's going to be heads Any Broadway up. card is going to be good Tio. for. Nine of diamonds, Tio's hand gets stronger with the, uh, the nut diamond draw. Kenny does pick up a cutter. I don't think that's what he was hoping for, though. Now facing a $200 bet from Tio. Now, A10 did get there. <sighs> that, too. And this also didn't bring in your flush horse. This just brought in a gut shot. This is not enough help to continue, no. I think. No. And the problem is, like, if you make two pair, that's going to bring some straights in now. That nine actually really sucks. If I'm picking a turn, that's, like, mm -hmm. one of my least favorite turns. You are hoping for, like, a five, six. You know, if I'm not going to improve, yeah, don't make my outs less good. Tio taking that down. Let's see if I improve my points. Do I have eight now? You're going to have one more than you had the last time. Is what you're have. I just want to get the 10 so I can gamble it all and lose. Oh, oh, nine. Uh, Ten more minutes. What? I just had a coach over there. No, didn't look. Didn't look. Check the cameras. Check the cameras. Check the cameras. This will be a straddle from worldwide. Imagination can win. Kind of a Reagan and hand there. JR with a more solid holding. Right down ish. I'd like to see JR just. i like to see somebody raise this. <laughs> it's not I even JR. I've been saying that all night. But, um. Instead, we're going to go six ways in the limp spot. Everybody wanted to see that flop, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Ace, yeah. Not one person with an ace. Everybody has a gut shot, though. JR's got a diamond draw. Gut shot, gut shot, gut shot. <laughs> right, everybody has a gut shot. Yeah, it's hard not to have something. Yeah. So if a face card comes. Hey, look at that, a six of spades. What? How boring. White flag. It does add a pair for imagination. Worldwide is yeah, just going to give up here. He's going to call. Oh, he's going to bet 35. They are calling because, hey, he's got a lot of outs. Like, he's, like he's got a wrap here. And yeah, like there's not. This is not nothing. And he's got diamonds. Like, he has too many outs. They all Like miss. that one, like the, the, the nine of spades. Like, yeah, nice. And uh, it's so funny because, well, he's going to lose, right? A pair, pair. pair. sixes. No, and six two. No, six deuce. deuce. Yeah. yeah. Imagination is going to gonna bring it home with another win here. This might put him in the positive. Yay, bottom two pair in PLO. Eight ways to the flop or something. I, all right, I got to wait 10 minutes, and I'm going to gamble all my points. Oh, of course, you gotta you gotta do the points thing again to get the one more point. Oh, that's true. You gotta do that in ten minutes. Well, I thought I could do high. I can say high, right? Or you just posted like two minutes ago. Is oh. the thing now? 
you're right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, saw, yeah, yeah. I saw a 99, I saw a 100. I mean, this is, uh, this is doable. This is wonderful. We promise this is doable. No, it is. It's we just not for me. We didn't flip the June switch. <laughs> Trouble winning his kings, as one does. Mitchell rolls a 97 and now has 918,000 points. I've never had more than 30 points. Ooh, imagination. Got the wheel covered. And a flush, and the nut flush draw. Plus, he can make quads. He's got everything. Well, if the other cards, I don't think he'll be making a flush. Everybody's got clubs. Yeah. We got Hank in there. That's a little questionable. <laughs> but hey, everybody's, everybody's playing, so he needs to see Jack Nine something. Clean nine six is what we get. So he's got and a gutter that's top two for Rick, and that's also bottom set for Rick. Rick has everything. He has he has two pair, and he has a set. Yeah, he's definitely going to bet this hand. Uh, there is a flush draw out there. Who's yeah, got the who's got the spades? has the only spades. And he doesn't have anything else to go with. Eighty five from Rick. So he's got to be feeling pretty good here. He has bottom set, and he's blocking the bigger. He's boats. blocking bigger. bigger yeah, he's sets. blocking bigger sets. <laughs> and this probably just clears it out. It does. Trouble could call, right? No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Jerry yeah. Masters head with the ninety-seven. All the good, all the good rolls are, go, are happening right now. <laughs> this thing's paying out. It's a, it's a slot it's a, machine. That's what I was to say. It's like a slot machine in here. What's my over and under on 35? Let's take the over on that. I, I have the. <laughs> <laughs> well, the odds say yes. <laughs> And he's got a pair, so that's a pretty nice, nice holding there for Jr. Good enough to play. Of course, I'd like to see a raise for sure, but yeah, that's that's wishful thinking. To me. And we're seven to the flop. Ten, ten, four. Who's got the spades? <coughs> Nobody. Spades to be had, I don't think. I see Ace King for JR. Imagination has 10 4 for a 2 pair. Rick almost beat him into the pot with his call. We get the riffraff out of there. Wayne does have backdoor clubs here working with. Imagination and a call with one pair. Two pairs, actually. He's actually in the lead. Now the now the flush Clubs draw. come in and uh, Wayne and Imagination go for club draws now. And uh, Rick picking up an open answer. Well, they ain't going over. If I were to get over under, I would have gone under because you've got a very good defense. It's 10 to 10 by Rick with the king and too many outs. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. And he's actually drawing, he's drawing to the nuts. Nice little pot brewing right now. Just over 300 in the middle. Queen of Hearts. So imagination making 
two pair and the best hands on the end. Yeah, Ace Jack gets there, but. 30 from Wayne. It's tough, right? This, this trade got there. The imagination but. letting it go. Wayne gonna take another one. That was a nice bet for Wayne. Pretty sure he knew he was didn't have the best hand, but he thought, yeah, you know, he thought he had the best hand. Probably showdown. Probably just checked it. Next, you're wondering about Saturday's arena set that were technical problems in Dallas where they couldn't get on air. My understanding is that they did record that final table and they will air it at a later date. Mm -hmm. Don't know when that'll be. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, get those notifications on, and find out every single time on TCH Live on YouTube, Texas Cardhouse on Twitch. YouTube chat is somewhat more active if you're looking for company. We enjoy having all of you as company in our chat, be sure, and uh, keep chatting. It's uh, nice to meet you all, and... Uh, Send you in person. Hit that like button as well. I think we've got about half as many likes as we do viewers. I think we can do better than that. I think we can hit 50 by the end of the show. If we try hard enough. Rick raising with his queens and fives. Two set draws. Trouble also with two set draws. That's fun. Slightly lower than Rick, but it doesn't really matter if you hit Papa set. Get some action flop here. I did see a seven. seven, seven. Yeah, imagination. Ooh, this might be bad for Imagination, who also has a seven. But really, he's looking for a friend. And not a great seven. Like, if he gets an eight or a six. Uh, you know, here's the problem, though. He is just over pot left, so I think he's just on the hook. Yeah, I mean, he really. If you were playing deeper, uh, curiously, it would actually be a different story. Instead, it's going to be Wayne just saying, hey, I got a boat. Rick is calling with his queens and fives. Surprisingly Hope, loose call, and this is where imagination. Lucky. He can't imagination. He can't call. Yeah, he's going to move all in. Yeah. Unfortunate for him, he's. So that's a check. That's a here. check jam in PLO. <laughs> that's also not enough. Well, it's he didn't have enough money. He, he didn't. It's getting in. Yeah, he had enough. The problem money. is, like, if you're up against a seven, you lose. So he's probably saying, I need a friend here. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, his friend's not friend. You need two friends. He needs running eights that I don't think exist. Two times. Two times. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think he would need running eights. Yeah, he's drawing dead. That's not an eight. Neither oh, He said to run it twice, which. Yeah. I have and Jack yeah, so this will be uh, a scoop for Wayne here. Ugh. Imagination is just not getting the cards. The problem is he's just buying in so shallow. It forces these decisions that he has to go with. Well, you're going to have a lot more all ways. It's just a matter of good hand selection yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're going to have more variance. I think, yeah, I think I think if you're going to buy in shallow, you really just got to be way more disciplined on the hands that you're going to play. Yeah, uh, like, you have no folds. Because so you, you may think, well, I'm only calling five or ten dollars, but then you're gonna get stuck when you in that exact situation. Yeah, right you're gonna get just enough that you're gonna have to pay him. Even if you didn't have the king, like you know, your kicker's no good. Yeah. So you're like, okay, let's fill now. It's either your opponent has a seven or he has pocket kings. <laughs> he's not going. He's not betting multi-way with this ace king. Another half hour to go here. Let's see if, uh, Feverishly checking my points. Yeah, hopefully it's been 10 minutes and you'll actually get by the additional point. There you go. Oh, here you go. All right. Okay, we're both going to gamble. You want to go first or do you want me to go first? I want you to go first. I want me to go first. Yeah. Ten dollars for the highest? Who has got the highest? Ten dollars on the high gamble. Okay. Okay, here we go. Gamble ten. Let's we're gambling. Who has, has going to get the highest points here for the highest roll? So suspenseful. It really is. 
Ooh. 13. You can see 13. I'm going to open uh, my wallet. Wait a minute. Now. This I might would, be the moment. I wouldn't no, put I it past me. I'm going to push this. I'm going to push this. I wouldn't put it past me to roll a 12. <laughs> I got the 10 hours out right here. I got the 10 hours right here. And we have another million way flat. 843, some clubs. Uh, who has the best clubs? Treble's got clubs. Those might even be the good clubs based on those percentages. Uh, no, Tio's got the nut clubs. Also has a four. Uh, it's very suspenseful. Mark calls with a no repair. Now you have to give a point total, Dante. Oh, gamble all. Found the fish. <laughs> I, I've, I've won so much that the clubs come in. Tia with the nut clubs and the only clubs that made it to the turn. Lucky for the other club holders. I don't see anyone really getting into trouble here with these. Uh, is it one word gamble law or is it? Oh, there you go. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> there you go. Cash you money. You didn't win the points. You didn't win the points. You won the money, though. <laughs> but you I said under record. 35. You maintain your record of not winning. <laughs> I said under 35. And the under came in. Uh, Pessimism pays off. Money. He's got 10 nit bucks. Money. Money. <laughs> and Gambled and won. <laughs> Rick, Rick is about $85 into the nuts. Tio just going to call. Perfectly safe five of diamonds. Tio going for the lead. I think Rick. this is an easy lay down, right? Yeah, Rick just has a pair of tens. <coughs> well, you know, he Rick has nothing. Like, he's yeah. playing a pair of tens. Yeah, I just. He has nothing. It's all straight. He he's very he sticky, nothing. but I guess you can't blame somebody in this game because we've seen a lot well, of. What happened was Rick had bet into Tio on the turn. And then Tio went river. Right now, it's your time to shine, yeah. I don't run so good back here when I'm uh, gambling with my, my uh, colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> like I've, I've definitely paid Aaron. A 27, ugh. Yeah. I mean, you had a, you had a 13. But. Yeah, lucky 13. <laughs> well, I have zero points now. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> the universe has uh, realigned. Oh. All right, we do have a seat open. So Imagination is going to um, take his lead. Didn't get too, too much damage. Two buy into 300, so one buy into three, one buy into two. He would have played better if he just bought in for five. He would have had better luck. He would have made his decisions different. But possibly. I, I, that's that's really my opinion. <laughs> like it's like. Oh, if you're playing deeper, you may have made different decisions. So we do it. What is your deal? You just got all this How is this my fault? I need a little, right? That's I mistake number card. 16 from Jesse today, <laughs> which is like two more than normal. So he's, he's way out of sorts. He's way out of sorts. Ooh, suited ace, pocket aces with Hank. Aces with a suit. He just calls, though. Interesting. That's par for me. He calls. I just... And and, and and just let everybody know, it's, it's it's really just our opinion. There is no right way or wrong way. Um, play however you want to play. I just I just think it's... I tend to raise when I have good hands. Ace-queen just ace nailed queen it. Action. So aces with the ace-queen actually... Blocks it. He blocks making it. The, uh, making the straight here. Who's got queen nine for max pain here? How about Rick with bottom set? Tia with top two, betting the 20. Oh, I like Hank's just call. Rick calls, I like Hank's Hank calls. Worldwide with top and bottom is going to just call. I like Hank's just call. Uh, queen Jack for Wayne is going to actually get out of the way correctly. If Hank raises there, everybody knows he has ace queen. Yeah. So I like it. I mean, it could cost him here, but not today. Eight on the turn. Tio picks up a flush draw. Yeah, so uh, Tio with some wife. The only other player with wife here. Hank. Hank. Flops a second. He, a, he, he flops a second straight. <laughs> yeah, he, he's turned a straight. He has two straights. He has two set. straights, and he's blocks the other straights. <laughs> like, honestly, it's a miracle anyone else is alive right now. Tio calling with his heart draw. I just two pair. Oh! oh that's that's, go crack! And he doesn't check, bet it. Check, check. 
the obvious draw gets there. And it's Hank. Hey, I don't have the nuts. I check. <laughs> Again, he was apologetic. Because, <laughs> but I had two pair as well. He did have top two. This was this was fine to take a turn. And then once you get that turn, it is fine to take a, a river. Wow. Oh, when you see other people run bad, you're like, what is that? Why would you guys do that? Why don't you just run great all the time? Is that not an easy game? <laughs> this game would be a lot easier if I walked that way. <laughs> She did that last time. Yeah. Remember? Boy, you're missing all those. Trouble is actually going to raise. It's about once every five hands somebody raises free. If somebody raises, and then and everybody remembers like this is why we don't raise because nobody folds. Yeah, I mean, six ways again. He's double suited. He's got the ace. He's got clubs and hearts. He's got straights possibilities, and he's, he's got hearts and he's got the top uh, two. Uh, Still trouble. pretty good. Still pretty trouble's good. He's got hearts. He's got two pair. Yeah. And Rick has bottom set, which is not bad. He blocks hearts a little bit for Rick, so that's going to definitely keep him in there. 55 from Trouble. Away from me. T.O. Someone get T.O. He's 6 four, four. Four. He's got a bad top pair, and he's got backdoor spades, and he's going to Backdoor straight? Got two. Just saying. Backdoor, baby. <laughs> Why not? Why not? He's playing with Hank's money right here. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Put that money in action. Rick, I think I just shipped the rest of this in with his set. All in, 299. It's the fold from Rick. Rick's so cool, he just he ships it, then turns his back. <laughs> right, Drink some water. Over to Treble, he's got top two and he's got a hard draw. Ah, uh, Treble's got a car. For sure. He remains. Yeah. He's got some backdoor straights too going on. So this is, I mean, it's 300 bucks, so it's 25% of his stack here. He does have Teal behind him who covers him. That he just calls a. Like, is Teal going to be trapping with a set? Nobody, nobody trapped. Nobody's trapping tonight. So yeah. <laughs> it would be the I first trap. The sets too. Yeah. So like if I'm worried that Tio might have a little something, I mean, like Tio's covering you. You're 1,200 deep. You could really just put the screws to him and say pot. That's like you want to, you want to hit something. Pay for it, buddy. Yeah, and you block big. You block this some of the sets there. So yeah, Rick has the hand that you're worried they, about. I wonder what he's waiting for. Is it? Is, waiting, is someone else folding, or are we on a timeout right now? Uh, he has the uh, action. He okay. does have the action. This is just the tank. I'm characteristic tonight. It's kind of a weird spot, but I mean, this entire game qualifies as a weird spot tonight. Weirder spot. I actually think this is an instant call here, given the fact that you don't have to put any more money in the pot. He has called. Well, except that Tio does T cover. Tio's yeah, Tio's not call. calling. Right. Tio's not going to be that strong, given the action. I kind of figured that's what you got. You're ahead. You're ahead. You're ahead. Bottom set. Bottom set versus a lot of outs. That's you. And set holds on the first one. Oh, a boat. Chop, chop. Not hold on the second one. Chop it up. And hurts. And hurts. And um, Trouble's explaining why he called. Because he in hearts. I had R. That's the thing. Like, he had top two and he had redraws. Look, you had an emergency draw. You like having redraws in this game. I'm trying to figure out 
figure out what else you're going to play we, uh, that way. I'm like, that's got to be good stuff. Well, it's got to be like, I don't know in, what to do here. In the uh, seventh seat, it'll be a bump up. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a bump right, bump up. down some. Yeah. Uh, Tio, our big winner. And Worldwide's been quiet in the last oh, 45 like minutes. A I think he's been a little bit more selective. Uh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, he still played every hand, but not, not calling well, like flops. Like, not every turn, though. He's yeah, not he's, not, he's not betting. He's not calling flops. No. <laughs> Flop bets like, He's there. still getting every flop. He's just not getting every Yeah. Uh, Which is not a bad strategy. <laughs> it's just so, not. Uh, Do it at Bomb Pot here. New player at Bomb Pot? <laughs> Yeah, any like any that, uh, reason to do a bomb pot? Yeah, the, the bomb is actually on the one seat. He doesn't so have enough. This, this was the time. This was the time. The 500, I'd probably find a So, uh, button moves clockwise as we look at the camera. The uh, bomb pot button moves counterclockwise. Every time we have a bomb pot, we move the button to the right. Whenever those two buttons intersect, that's when we do a bomb pot. Or when there's a dealer change, or whenever we feel like it. Yeah, it really is. You can just request a bomb pot, and if everybody agrees, they do it. Plus, the, what is the number one question a player asks when they're at the table? When's the next bomb pot? Where's the yeah? Where's the bomb pot button? <laughs> Aces and eights for Tio. Never mind. Look at that, Rinna. Rinna, full, nice job. Holds a fifty-two. I saw. I saw somebody pull a ninety-nine during that last hand. Sorting. All right. See what we got out. here. Tio, uh, gut shot. Yeah. We check through. Diamond draw available on the bottom. Uh, nines and fives for Joe on the top is what you see right This now. is incredibly uninspiring. And we're going to have Kenny come out here and bet. Uh, 20 from Tio, actually. Kenny oh, he calls. All right. And like, there's like some. Like, Two pairs, gut shot. Just a really bad gut shot. Hank has King High Diamonds. Which are no good. Tio has better times. Does Hank have something else? No. <laughs> just a lot of Joe with the spades. Yeah, this is just and Wayne with the uh, clubs. Yeah, Wayne has the only clubs. And uh, yeah, he's got enough equity. Five, uh, six ways to a river. Jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds. Eight of spades. So, uh... Is it you or is it blurry? Have gone sideways oh, because I can't see anything. Our camera's gone blurry. Everything's broken. We're sorry. There it goes. Uh, eight, eight's full of aces for Tio. It's going to be good on the bottom. On the top, Joe has an eight. Kenny and Joe playing the... Never mind. Kenny's gone. Kenny folded. Joe does have an eight. Now you may stick uh, around. Nines and fives for Joe. Nines and fives for Joe. He was going to quarter with Kenny, but that didn't happen because he folded. Joe going to call. I'm uh, a little surprised he called, but he called. Nines and fives. Well, he had two pair, and he had trips, I guess. Oh, he had the eight. You're right. He yeah. did have the eight. So, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> he had top sense. trips, actually. And, like, excluding the boats, he had the, the next best trips. Okay, you can call there. Still feels gross. For 125, yeah. Still feels really gross. Profit of 50. Stop with the boat, sir. I mean, that's an eight. It's like you don't expect that your Boy, nines and fives are good on the top. You and think your your eight might be good, but then you, <laughs> then you, you end up. You that happens all the time. See these VIPs? I mean, we got a couple players north of eighty percent. Like most of these players are playing basically every hand. Yep. Rick being one of them. Worldwide's played a lot. Of, I mean, everybody's played a lot of hands. Kenny's starting to play every hand now. Feels like even Hank's playing. A lot more hands. So Wayne's picked it up. Hanks for Hank, double suited. You gotta raise that. That's good. Don't limp. Him. Don't limp. Yeah. He's gonna win. Twenty-five, thirty-five. Or you know, ten dollars. 
Joe's also double suited. One suit is dead, though, to Hank. And you see the spades. The spades are now so dead. dead. So Joe does not want to see a and flush. There's queens and there's, there's an ace king and. No raise. Going at million, and, the, million ways. and Kenny is double suited. Set of queens. Set of queens for Kenny. Who's got Jack King? Joe flops the nuts. That's right. Joe with the nuts straight. Wow. And, and uh, this could be painful for his Kenny. His redraw is no good. His diamonds are covered. So it's the straight and just the straight. Kenny made it 25. Hank, calls. Hank is going to call. That's He's with got the diamonds. Over pair and a nine nut gut shot and a second nut flush draw. Of course. Joe going to pot it. He wants to end it right here and now. And Tio's got a redraw to his, to the gutter plus the nut flush. He's got the Broadway. He's not going anywhere. Not the, board, the nut diamonds. He does have a Broadway draw too. Um, and Kenny is like, the what the set. heck is going on? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys? He he knows so he knows a player's got a straight. Yeah, there's a good chance you're up against the straight, but you can call and you like you have a price to fill up here. Good fold by Hank. He, he had to go run a run yeah, out of that. Yeah, Kings with yeah. a nine, no good. Three ways to the flop. Got a little action flop here. Almost $600 in the pot. Um, that's not going to help anybody. Deuce of hearts. That's, Joe loves it. Joe loves it. And he's going to pot this. Yes, let's hold. And that'll be all in for Joe if he does pot it. He does move all in. Tio still with his uh, draws in hundred a straight and his nut diamonds. Does have a lot of equity here. And also a, a, a jack would give him Broadway. Yeah. He continues. He's looking for a diamond or a jack. He will not continue. Back to Kenny with top set. Let's it go. Joe taking it down. Everybody knew Everybody knew Joe had a, queen, a king jack there. <laughs> no one's betting that multi-way with that tech board texture without having a nut straight. It was the perfect. I can't bet 300 there because people would call. As we head down the stretch here, again, number 69 coming our way. Well into the last hour here. No, this one is like, man, my SPR is like, man. Just a whole different guess. If I only have three hundred, I guess it's me. It's hitting for everyone but us. 300, you call. Yeah, I, I, I'm, just, I'm used to it. I, I build it to 10, then I gamble all, then I go back. I'll be back in here next Monday. What we're playing next Monday, I don't actually know. Hold them. I'm going to hold them, I believe you. I'm going <laughs> to show up, and people are going to play poker, and I'm going to talk about it. Like, whatever they're playing, I could talk about it. Like, they could, they could sit there playing, like, reduce to seven, drum a hop, and I could talk about it. And I might make sense. Yeah, I barely can talk about PLO. I, I am a Holden player. <laughs> Tio whipping that beautiful hand. Makes me cry on the inside. Rick swapping these little vibes. Nice swap for Rick. JR also has a three, so this could get. And he's got overs. Uh, this could get uh, expensive. I was still way off, man. Rick with the queen as well. And Rick and Hank have space for us that are not good space for us. And Wayne is betting for some reason. He has a lot of red cards Feeling and big cards on that board. He's okay. feeling feisty. It's like he doesn't calls. even have He's an got overpair. The boat. Kenny going to call. He's got an overpair and a gut shot that's no good. Hank with two overpairs and a spade draw that's no good. JR with the uh, three. Uh, three and all the overs. That is not one of them, but Kenny with the boot. Oh, Next wow. Kenny. Kenny. This is where Kenny's going to look for some value here. And he's got, the, he's got the players to do it. Everybody's got something in this hand. Kenny going to put out a little $75 bet. He's Hank hits the flush, but it's he knows it's no good here. Rick also with the flush, but he has the boat to begin with. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's way too many players for that flush to be good. 
JR. Thinks he's still drawing alive to a bigger boat. He's not. You're not dead the way you think you are. Rick ships it in. Tinny is doing cartwheels at this moment. He's thinking, how do I get JR in this hand? It's do not I, even my I birthday. Just, I just call here. He's only Don't got go all behind. in. He's only got two oh. behind is the problem. So he's going to move all in for slightly more. JR with a three and a bunch of overs. I think this like is he's only losing to jacks or fives at this point as far as uh, like the, the boats. Like that, like that's where he's dead. I, I, he's like when he's really got a boat or a flush, and flushes are a thing too. Like you're calling, hoping that your life to suck out. He's not. I mean, I. <sighs> it's an awful spot. I think this is kind of an. I don't want to say easy fold. Like here, like Especially multi way, right? There's no way you're ahead against two players. There's at least a flush. Somebody could have a boat for sure. And Kenny plays good cards. So. <laughs> And Rick is really just drawing dead here, too. He's not going to get the three for the quad. And that's open four, unfortunately. And uh, Kenny's got the jacks full. There's not going to be any beating that. Yes, you can do anything. You just have to believe. Oh, you can. You can really get people to do that? No. Kenny's very adventurous flop pull got rewarded there. Hey, he was double suited. <laughs> And how many of those suits were on the flop, Don? So I know. <laughs> uh, this is just a, just, I, I mean, just a waffle spot for JR. But, and this, this escalated more than he would have wanted it to, for sure. He lets it go, and we're going to get a run out. <laughs> yeah, there isn't a card that he can get that's going to catch up there. So it's, he's probably thinking I need a three, but if you need a three, it's a counter four seven. That's not a three. They're going to run it twice here. That's also not a three, and... That's a big pool right there. That's a big look. Come on, he's got it. Uh, that hand should not have gotten to the turn. And it got to the turn and it spiked. That's, that's... When I say Texas poker is high barriers, I mean, this is this what I mean. <laughs> Then he should be having a, a nice little profit tonight. He's back to back wins there. Rick's going to say goodbye. Yeah, so they're down a little. Rick, unfortunately, stuck a bunch after that. Worldwide also not having a great night. Well, Worldwide had a great night the last PLO stream. So. We're down to our last three hands. I want to thank everybody for being here watching this uh, truly Texas poker. <laughs> yes, this is uh, very Texas tonight. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it very very That's the style of poker. There's not a solver in the world that can, that can account for. We don't do solvers or GTO here. Kings for trouble. And he's suited, so. <laughs> Tio's got to bump this up. Nice. He's got a nice hand too. Although his ace is not suited, he's all got the all. He's got the Broadways. So, unfortunately, not suited the right way. Yeah, he's gonna want to see. A, he wants to see trouble get a set though, because that'll help complete his straight. That that would be fun. Nice. Trouble doesn't actually like this hand, so I don't think. And these are not good kings. Yeah. He's got he's got one suit and it's got a bonus club. 
And it's like, yeah, you're not going to make it not straight. And it's, uh, JR going to call. It's like your fourth hand yeah, it's getting the towards the end of the night. A <laughs> couple of hands left. No, uh, let's see what we can do here. Gonna, let's see what we can do. Play. I think JR wins this with a seven. I'm I wrong. I think Trouble wins this with a set of kings. That's the king he, that's the king he wanted to see, but right? Tio with the wrap. That's what I'm saying, yeah. The king and the jack is going to give Tio the wrap. The rest of us have to suffer every now and then. So uh, top set is top sweat. And now okay. Trouble's like, I, I like my hand now, but now i gotta, I got a bad pot here. No flush draw out there, but like you said. These two players pretty deep here. Tio's got more than enough to continue. I now. think, and he's got the backdoor flush, but I think Trouble he calls. Could turn Trouble could turn over a set, and Stop I'm it. still calling him. Yeah, you got to call. 205, Tia looking for a Broadway card because it's not paired to board, or a nine. I think that's going to do it. <laughs> and he bets so fat. He bets almost full, gets full pot there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way to yeah, I mean, good call by by Tio, but that was a nice bet by Trouble. Full pot size bet. Can't call it a wrap with one card left. Trouble, the big winner. No, I mean. Again, Wolf, I've been quiet. He called me from my all in on a first draw. I don't want to hear it. Ah, the bad news stories. No, you were saying he was. You had all the equity. Well, I mean, he hasn't played a lot of hands. Like he did in the first half of the stream. You still owe me 100 million. I think that's going to suck out to the winner. It would anybody. I'm going to need the viewers at home to send me that. <laughs> make sure to chat. Make sure to comment on that Coke chat. Put the bet off there. What happened to the team? Turn it into a mid, man. If Lottie was doing the commentary, Dante would be like, yeah, that was the right move. Worldwide wakes up with something playable here. He's excited about it. I think you're talking about us out there. Probably. That's okay. Do you ever get people coming up to you and say, I can't, I can't believe you said that about me, or you're wrong about this? I haven't gotten that yet. I've gotten that once. Someone said, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> you are from New York. You could, you could snap back. <laughs> I, I, uh, I have a limited tolerance for BS. I don't start fights, but I do finish them. Everybody has a jack here. Jack 10, so I'm thinking ace, king, queen would be a nice flop, maybe suited. Three to the flop here. The other jack 10 did fold. Can't call one one more time there? No. Nobody with the king. Nothing above nine. Is the ace, is the ace jack ahead here? Yeah, the ace jack's ahead. Yeah, jack for uh, Wayne and worldwide. Wayne's jack is better. And Tio has. We check through. Ace, ja ace jack gets the. That's going to be uh, Jackson 10s for worldwide. Yeah. Uh, ace jack adds some straight possibilities. And Tio with the straight flush gut shot now. $25 Interesting. Gets in both spots to the river we go. King of Diamonds is going to be. The That's an action killer, yeah, but still, the board is it paired. It does pair the board. It's probably going to check, check all the way around. And Wayne, that's $80 right on cue. That's what you want to try to get to the third. I'm fold, man. See how close. Like gets out of there. Diamond's going to be good. Yeah, right now I can get feisty, especially if I think people are doing the wrong thing. 
I'll tell you that particular incident, though, I was working with essentially one hand tied behind my back because I had no table audio that night. Everyone had table audio that night except me. Oh. And like that's that's something that the production has fixed since then. Like I can hear I can hear them talking crap about me now. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I believe this is our last hands. It's going to be a bomb pot. Ragnar, I also remember that hand, and uh, Lottie was very, uh, very adamant on his opinion. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, given the information they had, yeah, I know. <laughs> which was the worst thing of all. Like, I would have torn into the other party if I had all of the information. But with no audio, and my initially looking at the chat, because I don't even know why that guy was in the tank at that point. Like, he should have snapped when he, he raised with a draw, and then he gets there, and some, somebody's trying to give him a stack. Why are we not snapping? So I, I look at the, I'm looking at the chat, and, like, I have no audio, and I don't know what's what. But anyway, uh, Jack eight three, King four three. Some so hearts or diamonds here. We're looking for hearts or diamonds from, from these players here. Let's get some red cards. Worldwide doesn't have anything. But the thing is, like I'm like if I have no audio, I'm basically no better than surveillance. And I remember watching that hand. Middle set for Jr. Diamonds do get there, but Kenny trick. does have diamonds, but he's not very proud Seven of it. Seven height diamonds really suck. A lot of checking. Nobody's feeling so And the pot now is so small. <laughs> it's not even worth it. Jay are hoping for a board pair. Does not get one. <laughs> Waiting on that last river. The case. We'll see who wins what. Kenny wins the top with his seven high diamonds. Seven high diamonds. Yeah. Bottom is going to There's a set JR. for JR. But he did, is that eight? Yeah, with a pair of, no, he's got the eight high hearts. Eight high hearts. Oh, I was saying he had a set on the top. Yeah, he did. So his, his set's not good. Yeah, his set's not good. So I okay, think so that's two it. bad flushes yeah. are going to take us down. Yeah. So uh, we'll maybe see these graphics click by if we we'll give it another oh, minute. Right. So, uh, yeah, what a night it's been. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, enjoy doing the stream with you as always. Yeah, it's always a blast. And, uh, and what we got to do is when we see Tio, the big winner of Trouble, had a pretty good night. Uh, yeah, Joe made some money. He's only in here I, for I five minutes, but <laughs> it's a very productive few minutes. Yes, That's it was. An hour we yes, it was. Uh, we'll no. see if we get B pips here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be sure to join us tomorrow. We got the big game in Dallas, and then uh, Mondays through Thursdays, and Saturdays, and maybe other days. Oh yeah, the uh, various TCH locations here. Thank you everybody again for the chat. Thanks, Kicker Problems, for that compliment. Ragnar, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, production, uh, Mel, and Forensics. Great job pressing the buttons tonight. Well, our dealers, most of them. Our dealers, uh, Russell, <laughs> and Jesse, pressing the buttons. Our producer, David. I'm trying to stall for stats. I don't think I'm actually getting any more stats here. I think that's it. I think it's going to be time to sign off. So uh, from Texas Card House, Austin, I'm so you're living? the New York Knit. We have yeah, very good hair. Wishing you a great night. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button.